Wait, hello. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Sorry. I was talking and uh, I was definitely, definitely muted. How is everybody doing today? Hello. Welcome in or welcome back. If you, I don't know, that's somebody's thing, isn't it? That's definitely somebody that I watch uh, their YouTube intro. Anyway, welcome in. Sorry, I just cut that off at the trailer and it made a very horrible sound. Welcome back. If I saw you a couple hours ago, welcome in for the first time. If this is your first time seeing me today, uh, let me see. Are we in game? I'm so sorry. Something is being weird here. I think it's because I have it in studio mode. I'm still learning OBS. I switched over from Streamlabs to OBS, so bear with me. Here's my face. Hi. How's everybody? Hello. Hello. Welcome in. So far, um, by the way, I put the comment pinned because I was hanging out in a couple people's streams after I ended my last stream, and it seems like YouTube streaming has been like a little bit glitchy for people. So right now, everything looks fine on my end. It says we have an excellent connection, but just in case stuff starts to get a little weird, let me know so I can make sure that I can see whether if it's like me or OBS or something, but we'll just... I, I wanted to still try to stream because I'm really excited about starting the game again. But hello, hello. Welcome back. Hi, Ali. Hi, Isabel. Hi, SL. Um, Charlotte, Lady Aloha. Hello, Taylor. Um, Ghosty. Hi. Nice to see ya. Wait, there was a... No. <laughs> there was a comment that was a question that I wanted to try to answer. Wait, wait, wait. Um, you played on Switch, but you accidentally messed your game up. So you're starting a new save as well, but on a different account console. You purchased the Ultimate Edition on Steam a few days ago, but won't have access to a PC or Steam Deck until next week. Will the items in the Ultimate Edition be accessible still? Do you know? I don't know for sure, but there was some interesting wording that made it seem like you had to claim the Founders Pack rewards before December 5th. So I wouldn't be completely surprised if you don't have them, but I'm crossing my fingers for you and hoping that you do have them. Your first stream with me on... Oh my goodness, hello, Paula. How are you? Um, we're going to start a new game. I am so, so excited. Watching again. Welcome in. Hello. It's been <laughs> a couple hours. <laughs> nice to see everyone again. Um, I'm really, really excited about this. Like, obnoxiously excited. I think I'm going to try to make this character or, uh, look quite different. Not quite different. That sounds dramatic. Um, I want her to look different than my other character a little bit. So we're going to make some some choices to get a unique character for our second save. But I want her to still look a little bit like me. Do I know what the deeply musical fish is from the star path? Deeply musical fish. I'm trying to think of the names of the fish that we have. Um. Oh, the bass. Because bass is bass and bass is a vocal type that's a low voice. Haha. -ha. <laughs> Sick day for you, sadly. I'm sorry to hear that, but I'm happy that you're at least here hanging out with us on your sick day. Mm, I always forget which of these, because these skin tones are kind of interesting. Queen Tayan, hello, hello. It's an acceptable time to be awake now, so you're back. Welcome back. Hope you had a good morning and such. I. This is making me so uncomfy. I have no idea. I think I went with this skin tone. I feel like once we get the character actually looking like me-ish, I'll be able to pick one a little bit better. I wish we had more variety of skin tones, I will say that. I think originally when we got the game, I was surprised that we had as many as we do. And we do have a really good range, but the breakdown from A to Z is a little bit lacking in my opinion. Your first stream, welcome in MN. Okay, is anybody in chat just picking up the game for the first time? Or have you like just started recently? Oh, I didn't change my body type. I think we're going to go. <laughs> I'm so excited. I went with this one for my main character because this is, I think, a little bit more like I see me. But I want to go with this one. I want to go with the, <laughs> the one that looks like 
This is incredible. Is the expansion worth it? I think so. So far, I've had a blast. It seems like there's a lot of content, and I think it'll be a lot of fun. Hi, Josh. Hello, hello. Oh, thank you, Charlotte. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Cozy Games. Or Stacy. Hello. I will try to remember that. You started recently? Wonderful. That's exciting. I think I want to use fancy dramatic eyes. Like maybe these ones. You've had the game for a while, but only started playing it again a week ago. It's great to see how much it's changed since you first played. Yeah, I feel like there's been... Ooh, purple eyes. That might be fun. I feel like... There have been a lot of changes in the past um, six months, but especially in the past year since the game first dropped. I feel like we should have purple eyes. You play on Mac, so you can't play the expansion, so you're living vicariously through the streams. Oh my goodness. Okay, so do you know, because somebody said that there was something with the expansion for Mac. Was it just delayed a few days? I was trying to find the information in between streams, but I was also doing some other things and just like decompressing a little bit. So I wasn't I, I wasn't able to look at the exact stuff that's been happening with Mac. Gifted a PS4 from your friend. Ooh, and you're going to start a whole new game there. Amazing. Yeah, I'm really excited because I think it'll be fun to see everything from the jump again. I do. Um, let's see what kind of eyebrow. Oh, these are kind of fun. I honestly, if you asked me to pick which eyebrows I chose for my other character, I would not. I would not be able to tell you. These are kind of nice. Hmm. Some of these look like so manicured. My eyebrows are a mess. You love the purple eyes? It's fun. You're glitching. Wait, the stream? Try refreshing. Currently, it looks like it's good on my end. It still says we have an excellent connection, so it could be lying to me, but I feel like it's probably all right. But sometimes a refresh will like kick things back into gear. I feel like I went with this nose and I feel like I also will go with this nose. I'm like very tiny <laughs> in my little like um, OBS window. This is good. We're going to go with this one. Mac is always delayed when it comes to updates. That's really sad, honestly. And it would be one thing if they announced it beforehand, talking about um, the fact that you might have delays, but they didn't really say anything about it until I think halfway through the day today. I said I was going to make this character different. I mean, she has purple eyes. That's different. Other than that, I feel like she's looking a lot like my other character. Oh, well, oh, well. Just or they're just saying delayed no known time. You're frustrated with the fact that they messed up the premium shop and you don't have the new star path. Wait, really? On Mac, like at all, you're not talking about Apple Arcade? That's so strange. Mm, I think I want to go with. Uh, I'm just going to see what these actual lip shape things are. Oh, that's a very intense lip liner. Um, we're going to change the opacity down, but I want to see what we're working with. Maybe we'll go with like a sheen. A pinky color. That works, that works. Can't stay long? No worries, thank you for popping by. You moved the mushroom house in the Glade of Trust and the grass turned to the biome- <gasps> No way! Where's my checklist? <laughs> this is for a different save, but I need to write this down. Um, mushroom house. The grass changed color- changes colors now. Uh, grass color? Question mark. Will I remember what that means? Maybe. I'll have to look at it. Okay. 
what else do we need to look at? I'm not going in order here, but you know what? That's fine. That's fine. I do quite have this face shape. That was not a sentence. Samantha, hello, hello. How are you? Popping back in after work. How was your day? I hope it was good. Oh, this one has like little dimples. I'm going with this one. That's cute. Um... <laughs> uh, she looks so dramatic. I think it's the eyes. Um, hairstyle. Oh, it might also be the freckles. The freckles are very freckling. Um, I do have freckles. I feel like they were looking very pronounced today, but they're really... I mean, they're there, but they're not like the most intense, I suppose. What hairstyle should we start with? Actually, I might go quite dark. Busy, so it went by pretty quick. That can be really nice sometimes. It can also be overwhelming. You know what? I think I'm actually going to go with really, really dark hair this time. You see what I mean? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, So the Gaston piece for Scramble Coin, I think, if I remember correctly, it can move forward, backward, side to side, and on diagonals. Um... And it moves until it runs into an obstacle or the edge of the board. So that racks up pieces so quickly. I like this hairstyle, actually. I might go with this. You did white freckles with blush to give the oh, cute fey look. That's really fun. What do we want to go with? Hmm. This one is also cute. I mean, honestly, to be fair, I feel like it's hard to go wrong with any. Oh, my gosh, she's a little dimples. I'm dying. She's so cute. Um, I feel like it's really hard to go wrong with any of the options. They're all very, very cute. Um, Just depends on what vibe we want to go for. I also do have to remember that we're probably going to be rocking whatever look we have for a while. Because I started a new save on my PC, and I don't think we're really going to have any items at all. What have I gotten myself into? <laughs> Do you ever just, like, have a sense of regret where you're like, wait a minute, I made a choice, and now I'm living with this choice? <laughs> uh... Wait, what? You really like the game, but the tasks are a little difficult due to the lack of access to the English language. I'm not sure, actually, what languages or subtitles are available in the game. The only thing I really know is that I see a lot of people asking for Brazilian Portuguese, but I don't know what languages are currently available. I think we're going to go with... This one. This is kind of fun. I think, I don't know, something about the eyebrows. I'm spending an eternity here. I'm sorry. Something about the eyebrows and the hair to no, the eyes together is giving. I don't know. It's giving two pulled together. And if asked what phrases I would use to describe myself pulled together would not be one of them. I think I'm going to go with these. They look a little bit less, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> maybe darker. No, I think the, that's a good color. Um, where do I find? Oh, here. Here is where we can change our freckles. Let's make them fainter. Can I change the color? Do I want to do fun colors? I don't know. I don't know if now is the time or place. We can also experiment with this later. There we go. Um, Blush. I feel like I usually go for... Oh, Miss Ma'am. 
for this kind of a look. Uh, what if we do this and then we just push it down a lot? I still feel like that's a lot, but maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Maybe it's fine. Making the the brow lighter might make it look less put together. That's possible. Oh, hello. Wait, give me one second. My partner is bringing me food. <laughs> I don't want to expose him to the world. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. They can hear you, though. Okay. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Food. Let's see. What else are we working with? We need... I think that's it. Wait, do we want any face paint? Hi, Annie. How are you? Noticing so many new bugs, you're kind of bummed. Wait, really? Nothing major, but with going into full release, there really should be little to none. Like, what kind of bugs? I don't think I noticed any right off the bat, but I'm sure I will. We could do a little Mickey. That would be cute. Yeah, let's do a little Mickey. I'm doing pretty well. I'm excited to be starting anew in Dreamlight Valley. Will it let me name myself Tink? Oh, it will. Okay. I thought it might get mad and be like, that's the name of a character. Stacy, hello! Our story begins with an ending. Ooh. As you decide, it's time to leave the city behind. Yearning for a pause from life's responsibilities, you arrive at a familiar place. A quick stroll along a nearby path leads you to a spot where, as a child, you found that life was simpler. And with a touch of imagination, all your dreams would come true. I'm so happy. Wow, I'm feeling nostalgic for something like a year ago. <laughs> Finding the perfect place for a rest, you begin remembering these long lost dreams and drift off to sleep. Amazing. Hi, bookworm girl. Hello, hello. The night thorns and the digging spots on Dazzle Beach are grass instead of sand. Oh, interesting. I used to notice that, ooh, in, um, Frosted Heights, sometimes they'll have like a, um, like a grass color to them. Disney Dreamlight Valley. Looks like you woke up at the right time today. Well, welcome in. Why are we starting a new game? Because I've played this game since I think the day after it released in early access. So it's been a really long time. And the game is now fully released. So this is the way that the game is intended to be experienced. Well, so I wanted to kind of get that feel. I know they added like a couple cutscenes, I think. So I just wanted to check it out. And also because the game is fully released, I figured there would be a lot of new players or newer players who might not want to watch expansion pass content and might want to watch early game stuff. What's this? <laughs> One second, let me mute myself to move my mind. Are my spectacles enchanted or might you actually be real? You totally forgot this intro, it's been so long, right? Um, of course I'm real. Well, you never can be too sure around here. I'm afraid you'll have to excuse me, I haven't met anyone in ages. Ahem. Welcome to Dreamlight Valley, my friend. Dreamlight Valley? This place is... awfully mysterious. I feel like I could explore this place forever and still not find all its secrets. Yes, the valley is full of mysteries. But there was a time when it was also filled with magic and wonder. You didn't remember it had the castle and the Forgotten Treehouse in the intro, right? So many fun things to, like, look back on. You don't remember the beginning part when you started the game a year ago? I think I remember it. That's the stuff. <laughs> oh, but I haven't introduced myself yet. You're no doubt wondering who I am. Um, duh, you're Merlin. You're a very odd old man. Maybe I'll pick some choices that I wouldn't necessarily pick all the time. 
Um, you're a very odd old man. <laughs> Odd old man, why I, I'm Merlin, I'll have you know. I'm a wizard, a very, very powerful wizard. And that's not all. I'm a soothsayer, a prognosticator. I have the power to see into the future. And I'm also quite skilled at alchemy and prestidigitation. Now that that's settled, there's a small matter of who you are. Me? I'm Tink. Tink, hmm, well. The only way to get to Dreamlight Valley is to pass through dreams. So you must also possess great magic. Otherwise, how could you be here? Hmm, magic, me, hmm. Uh, I don't know how I got here. The amount of times you fast-forwarded through this very part. Fast-forwarded through this artistry? You just got the backbone and you're able to watch the live and play Dreamlight Valley at the same time. Amazing, amazing. I just closed my eyes and drifted off and all of a sudden I was here. Magic had nothing to do with it. <laughs> Quite the contrary, magic had everything to do with it. In fact, I'm quite certain that you're the one we've been waiting for. You're going to save Dreamlight Valley. Um, what's in it for me? Oh my goodness. Save it from what? A wise question indeed. After all, a problem can't be solved until it's understood. If we're to restore the valley to what it was, a place of magic, of wonder, of friendship, we need to stop the forgetting once and for all. Taylor, thank you so much for the super chat. Thank you for starting the second save. You love it. Amazing. I'm already having a great time, so I think it'll be fun. Just a minute. This is bringing you back, Isabel. Yes, it's a good intro, but for however many at the time, that's fair. That's fair. If you've watched it like 10 times, I would understand. We must. We must. I'm I'm sorry. I can't seem to remember what we were talking about. The forgetting? Ah yes, the forgetting. You'll have to forgive me, but now you can see where it gets its name. All right, listen closely and I'll tell you the tale before I forget again. Dreamlight Valley used Ooh. to be a cheerful place full of happy villagers. Life was flourishing here thanks to our ruler's magic until our ruler vanished and the forgetting began. Yeah, this voiceover did not exist when I first played. It's good! Um, <laughs> does the Scrooge item go away and restart? Yes, they do, they do. And as I can see... Into the future, I knew that someday someone would come to help restore the valley. You're about to say voiceover work is new. Very new, but good. Really good. Um, and tell me more about the forgetting. Yes, yes, of course. Let me see. Well, when our ruler left, the sky turned dark. Then those horrid night thorns infested the village, spreading everywhere like a bad thought. The more night thorns that appeared, the more clouded our memories became. Why, sometimes I can't remember the faces of all the friends I've lost, or the names of all the spells I've forgotten. Maybe if we got rid of the night thorns, your memories will return. <laughs> Am I going to do the Dreamers Unite Dream Snap before it's due tomorrow in this save? Uh, <laughs> probably not, but we'll, well, actually, maybe I'll try to throw something together, but I don't know if I'll be able to. Get rid of the night thorns. Hmm. Now, there's an interesting thought. How about premium shop? Star path items, do they go away and restarts? So they will stay if you are in a save and you go to the menu and restart that save. But if you're starting a supplemental save on the same system, those will not transfer to that save. And I did not restart my game. I just started an additional save file on it. So I should start with nothing, I think. How unfortunate. Well now, all the wonder, magic, and friendship in this valley came from our ruler. They watched over the village and kept us safe from dark magic. But one day they started to act different, though I can scarcely remember it now. And then our ruler simply vanished. It's been years, I think. I've lost all track of time because of the forgetting. Your ruler just up and left? Hmm. There must have been some reason. Maybe your ruler had to leave. Maybe they didn't have a choice. Oh, our ruler was kind and very noble. There must have been a good reason why they left, though I can't remember what it was. All right, I'm 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 ready. <laughs> I'm ready to help restore the valley. You see... Um, I've been through this four times when the updates bugged out. Oh, no. 
That's really frustrating. Well, there's only one way to be absolutely certain you're the one destined to save Dreamlight Valley from the forgetting. It'll be a small test of your magic. You see, ever since the forgetting, I've been puzzled about this house blocked by the Nightthorns. Come along. We'll investigate it together. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Moving and interacting. You have to have Vanilla P to unlock Dream Snaps. That's correct. Enter. I've consulted my notes and discovered that Nightthorns began infesting Dreamlight Valley soon after our ruler disappeared. No one, not even I, can remove the blasted things. Only someone who can harness the magic of Dreamlight will be able to. Yeah. And I'm certain that someone is you, Tink. Michelle, thank you so much for gifting five memberships. I appreciate it so much. And welcome to our new members. I hope you enjoy your cute Tink emotes. Welcome on in. Oh, wait. And I think the alerts are actually working, so that's nice. <laughs> I think they're working the way they're supposed to. But Michelle, we always appreciate your generosity for the community, and um, that's so kind of you. Uh, okay, I'm certain that someone is you. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, of course, why else would I be here? Um, how do I remove them? Magic is different for all who practice it. But all you need to do is focus your thoughts on the task at hand. Hmm. Gross. It's all dirty. Yes, let's do this. <laughs> I sense the magic within you already. Focus on it and say the magic words. Figitus, figitus. What a magical magic. Haha, <laughs> I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> You've done it. Bravo, bravo. Tink, this proves you can harness the power of dreamlight magic. Well then, there's no time to lose. Let's go inside and see what's become of this house. Let's do it. Oh my. I wish, okay. I wish we could paint the ceilings or like put ceiling effects or textures on the rooms. Because it actually looks really cool in this old dingy house. Oh dear, the Nightthorns have made their way inside the house too. That's strange. Suddenly I can't remember why I came in here. Um, this house must be important somehow. I sent it too, if only I could remember why. Ah, it's those pesky Nightthorns. Being near so many of them is clouding my mind. You must remove them before they consume more memories. Focus your magic once again, Tink. Okay. Remove Nightthorns inside the house. Only 30 more minutes and then you can clock out and play along. Awesome. What are you most excited about checking out in the update, Gabby? Investigate the orb. Okay, let me do that. Oh my. We have our first memory in our new collections tab. Oh, at first I thought Merlin was sleeping. I was like, that was, oh, well, there he is. <laughs> there he goes. All right, Merlin, wake up, my friend. Oh, hello. Goodness, the glowing orb you pulled from the night door, and it's a memory. It's like a fog has lifted and I can recall something of great importance. Mickey Mouse and I were at the dream castle and we left something there, something important. Uh, let's go find it. That's the spirit. Of course, I can't remember what it was, but... But wait, there's something else returning to me. When our ruler left, the royal tools were lost, scattered throughout the valley. We must find them, quickly. They're filled with ancient and powerful magic. The royal tools? If I could find those, then maybe I could. Mm, solve the mystery of the forgetting. You're excited for the star path, but you need to see the monkeys. The monkeys are incredibly cute. Very, very cute. Well, there's certainly no shortage of mysteries to solve around here. First, we must obtain the pickaxe. When the forgetting came and our ruler left, we found the pickaxe driven into a blighted stone in the plaza. Come to think of it, that was around the time the sky went dark and the night thorns overran the plaza, though it's all a bit of a muddle, I'm afraid. No one's been able to lift the pickaxe from the stone, but then no one was you, Tink. And after all, it wouldn't be the first time someone pulled something from a stone and became a hero of legend. Wait, actually, that reminds me. Did you all see there's a new craftable item? That's the sword in the stone? Merlin says, and it's like the fog has lifted, and that's a tangled reference from I See the Light. I know. Every time I see that, it makes me want to sing. <laughs> Pull the pickaxe from the stone in the plaza. Got it. Anything else? 
You must also find the other three royal tools, the shovel, the watering can, and the fishing rod. You'll need them for what's to come. That is, if you're staying here with us. Well, I don't think I have a choice. Uh, <laughs> for now. Well then, you'll still need a safe place to eat, sleep, and keep your energy up, even if it's only temporary. So consider this house your home. It's got so much potential. It's so small. <laughs> Do founders need to pay for the expansion pack? Yes. So it'll be 30 US dollars or the equivalent in your currency, and it will unlock the entire expansion pass, which is going to be coming out in three updates between now and next summer. Ah, but it all wasn't always so. In fact, I seem to remember that the ruler of Dreamlight Valley had a house like this once. Perhaps you'll do as much good for the valley as our ruler did. In fact, Here's a little something to get you started. If you ever feel like you need a boost of energy, there's something in there that will fill you right up. Cool, cool, cool. So worth it to be able to ask. Want to play? Want to play scramble coin? <laughs> Want to play scramble coin? Uh, now then, I'll be at the Dream Castle. You can find me there when you're ready. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Let's clean up the rest of our home. Oh my goodness. I did, in fact, play some scramble coin with a couple villagers after stream. Um, I was really excited about it. Oh, the purple eyes. They're purpling. Let's open this. Chair, apple, cookies. Beautiful. And I honestly forget what these items were. A red backpack. Okay. We're going to have the pain of a small inventory. Black polo shirt. Anyone else have the festive items that are yellow when they used to be red? Yes. I need to look into that because I've heard conflicting things about whether that's intentional or a bug. And it's very startling. Ooh, OK. What do we have here? Let's see if I actually have anything. Um, just these Welcome to Dreamlight Valley rewards, but I'll claim that. Uh, just claim anyway. Claim anyway. <laughs> Am I playing on my Switch? I'm not. I'm playing on PC. I always stream the game on PC because it's, I don't know, it runs better. Okay, let's rock this jacket. I mean, we're not entirely the savior yet, but we're going to get there and that's cute. The small energy bar stop <laughs> we're gonna have so many things that we have to to deal with it's gonna be wild premium shop zero moonstones gotta actually i gotta get working on dream snap so i can do the star path i guess what was i looking for this let's okay i'm not even gonna track any of these right now because we pretty much know what we're doing we need to just find the royal tools the zero moonstones. <laughs> it's painful. That's going to be like many weeks of dream. Oh, no. And the slow running because we don't really have cooked food. OK, let's see what we can find. The items were different for everyone in that chest. Wait, really? I thought they were the same from those like original items. I'm going to leave you for now. The watering can. Amazing. You're going to go into lurk for a bit. No worries. Thanks for hanging out. OK, of course it drops on the other side. We got some apples, even though everything in me wants to clean up all of these night thorns right now. We're going to not do that. And we're going to actually just try to <laughs> try to get some stuff done. We got a nice turquoise top. You couldn't do this over again, but it's very entertaining. So far, I'm not feeling badly about it. I'm excited. But it is also quite a lot. Shovel unlocked. Beautiful. You remember collecting the pickaxe and being so confused as to why your time of day changed from night to really bright oh yeah okay let's dig these spots because we also have zero resources and we're gonna need some things 
the zero clothes and furniture, the zero everything. I can't even get back there yet. Okay. We run, we run. Oh. You love how they don't break unlike Animal Crossing. Oh my goodness. Tools that break and you have to recraft or repair is one of my least favorite things in games. Convince the famous Scrooge McDuck to open a business in our village. He's planning to. Says he's sure it will be a good investment. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. This jacket is actually cute. I mean, I can't see it in the light of day, but... Oh, amazing! It's gonna still be dark, I think. <laughs> actually starting completely over. I am! Having a good time. You're playing on your Xbox and just switched over because you left the house. And now you're missing 4,000 moonstones. Oh, um... They might just be tied to your Xbox. Like, you probably still have them, but can only use them on your Xbox. Also, Elsa, welcome! Thank you for becoming a channel member or renewing your channel membership. I appreciate it. Okay. It is light out. Is it supposed to be this light out? Okay, I mean, I'll take it. So do I still have my other save? I do, I do. Um, actually, now might be a good time to track these quests. Talk to Merlin, find the fishing rod in the men or in the meadow. Okay, let's find the fishing rod first. Actually, can we talk to Merlin now? You have a problem with scramble? Gotta admit it, almost at unlock number five and at 32 ranking points prib. You're gonna get through the entire thing <laughs> as soon as possible. That's pretty awesome. Uh, Tink, this is the dream castle. It holds many secrets or answers or... Oh, blast it all. I can't seem to remember what's inside. I bet that inside the castle we'll find... The key to saving the valley. Precisely. The castle is filled with mysteries and wonders. If we're going to restore Dreamlight Valley to its former glory, we must get inside. So let's go inside. Oh, yeah. Easier said than done, Tink. Well, the night thorns know. that encase the dream castle aren't like any you've dealt with before. They're stronger and will take more of your magic to defeat. Follow me, there's still much to show you. Off with you now. <laughs> oh, you upgraded when you renewed. Well, thank you, thank you. You don't understand the scramble thing? It's... <laughs> How do I explain this? Let me talk to Merlin while I think of a way to try to summarize it. Although, Prib, with all the scramble coin you've been playing, you might be able to summarize it a little bit better than I can. Everything Dreamlight Valley or everything in Dreamlight Valley is made of, well, Dreamlight. It's the sparkles you see over everything and everyone, even a wizard such as myself. But Dreamlight became scarcer and scarcer as the forgetting fell over the valley. Ever since you arrived, though, the magic has been starting to come back. The magic is connected to me? Hmm. I have to use it wisely. And as long as you keep that wish in your heart, you need not fear. Dreamlight magic grows stronger through acts of friendship, love, and care. Simple acts, like removing night thorns or forging a friendship with me. Gaze into the well and you'll discover the different tasks that will create more dreamlight. But to fully embrace the potential of dreamlight, you'll need to gather the royal tools that were lost during the forgetting. Remember, for some wizards, magic requires magical implements. You'll need those tools to save Dreamlight Valley. Let's see. Fishing, fishing. Ah, yes. Goofy is very fond of fishing. He's sure to know where you can find the, lo the lost fishing rod, though I haven't heard from him since the stones blocked our path to the meadow to the south. Well, you must find him, so I'd start there. I couldn't have done better myself. Is the jacket new? Yeah, if you log into the, uh, the game... Anytime between now and I want to say the 19th of December, you'll get this jacket just for playing the game. You love that you can see me. I have a face cam. I do. And thank you. Thank you for the $5 super chat. I appreciate it. Okay. Um, it's like chess with Disney pieces with super weird movement rules. Yeah, it's similar to chess, except instead of defeating the other person, you're just trying to gather coins that are on the board and each peace has its own movement pattern which is interesting it feels like 
it's just gonna take a lot of time to master, I think. Oh, hello. Lurking while working. Thank you for hanging out, Eliana. My word, you've pulled the pickaxe from the stone. Oh, and, and look, now that the enchanted pickaxe is in the hands of someone worthy again, <laughs> the blasted darkness that's hung over the valley has finally disappeared. Uh, call me the hero of Dreamlight Valley. Uh, I mean, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> I'm afraid one can't simply decide that they're a hero. That's a title which must be bestowed upon you by your peers. Oh. But I know you'll do many great deeds here and prove yourself worthy. Now, the pickaxe is just one of the tools that will aid you on your journey. Not only will it help you find gems, but you can use it to break through rocks and stones to explore the valley. Oh. I see now that it's your destiny to bring great change to our village. Um, what kind of change? Well, that's entirely in your hands. Uh, yes. You've already started on your journey. Why, because of you, I'm remembering how Dreamlight Valley once was and how it can be in just the future. We've lost so much, you know, not just memories and tools, but magic and friendship too. Uh, Those of us who stayed when the forgetting began have been scattered. Some are even trapped. It's up to you to find them. Okay. I tip my hat to you. But I'd prefer not to take it off. I know Merlin. <laughs> Are there new hairstyles too? I haven't seen any, but the Rapunzel braid did get a bit of an update. So that was fun. It's got more flowers in it now. No worries, Charlotte. Thank you for hanging out. I appreciate it. Ooh, we can make the spring egg bounty if only we had eggs. Ooh, and the stony bench. That's actually new. How do I feel about the new collection menu? It's going to take you a while to get used to. It's definitely new. I mean, how do I feel about it? I, uh, I like the percentage. That's a fun feature. I, mm, I kind of liked seeing the number, like the total number though. I like that things are in alphabetical order. That makes a lot more sense. But I also feel like it would be nice if up at the top, it would give you like total and then give you like blank out of blank. Does that make sense? Me trying to be diplomatic, <laughs> me just saying something true. It's new, <laughs> something obvious. I yeah, I think I just need a little bit more time with it to really gather how I feel about it. I don't dislike it. It's just different. Find the fishing rod. Okay. Let's also get some of these chests and see if we get anything good. I remember when I first started playing the game, all of the streamers were getting like the Anna's picnic set from the Frozen collection in their chests. And I got like a basic chair and I was so mad. <laughs> you don't like it very much. You liked it better the other way. But alphabetical order is good. Yeah, I just I, I don't really have too much of an opinion on it. I don't dislike it. I don't necessarily prefer it, but I think it's fine. Hello, hello. Anybody know if there's an issue with the store? You can't download the DLC. Which platform are you on? Because it depends on the platform. Getting a chest or a coin in that chest is kind of rude. Although I guess we are very star coin poor at the moment. So maybe it'll be nice to have that. Maybe, maybe. What is new about the collection menu? So it, um, it looks like this now. It used to have all of the categories down the side here. Now it's split up between Dreamlight Valley, Eternity Isle and all. Also, I don't know if I even have Eternity Isle because like it popped back up on my main menu. So I don't know why I can't like, I don't know, as an option to purchase, but I feel like it shouldn't be linked to your save file. It should be linked to your platform because it's a DLC. Does that make sense? I don't know, but it's split up into Dreamlight Valley, Eternity Isle and all. And then within Dreamlight Valley, we have these. Actually, it might just be because I haven't done the quest to unlock Eternity Isle yet. Um, and then when you open the individual things, it's in alphabetical order instead of the random order that it was in before. 
you're on Xbox. Um, as far as I know, the DLC should be in the Xbox store, but has anybody on Xbox downloaded it and played it yet? If so, do you have any tips? Anything special you had to do? Can't wait till you get the cozy edition to play the expansion. Nice. I always thought this would be a nice place for a garden. Ooh. You like the new collection menu better? I think it makes sense because it seems like we're going to be getting more expansions probably and the collections menu would probably get incredibly cluttered. So I do think it makes sense. Also, that way people who don't have the expansion pass, they'll still be able to see their overall progress in collections just for the main valley. Oh, hey, Goofy. Hey there, pal. How about a just the goof I was looking for. Hi there, pal. Is all items a combination of Dreamlight and DLC? It seems that way, yeah. It's somebody oh. new. Say, you're not the scary kind of stranger, are ya? You're just a friend I haven't met yet, right? Um, I guess I can be a little scary. I wouldn't say that. Of course I'm a friend. Phew, that's reassuring. Uh, it's been a long time since I've seen anybody else. I've been waiting for somebody to come along ever since the sky got dark and the night thorns crept in. But now you're here. We're going to be good pals. I just know it. Uh, if that ain't too forward. A uh, yuck? How can you add the cozy edition to your Steam Deck PC? Uh, the cozy edition is not available on Steam Deck or PC. You'd have to buy it on another platform and then sync it to your cloud save. Uh, gee, there's so much I want to show you. There's my stall. We'll have to clean it up, though, and we can go fishing. Of course, I have to find my lucky fishing rod. Slow down, Goofy. I think I already found your fishing rod. Only one problem. It seems to be broken. It makes sense, but you do wish it had the overall number. Yes, I agree. Thanks, Tink. Here, let me see. Ah, it was just jammed up with seaweed, but it's all fixed now. Tell you what, now that I have my lucky fishing rod back, I'll give you this one I found after the forgetting so we can fish together. I think it belonged to our old ruler. Hey, look, it seems to like you. Um, because I'm great at fishing. <laughs> sure. Oh boy, I've been waiting for a fishing buddy. Well, here you go, it's all yours. Dreamlight Valley Discord says crossplay and cross save is unavailable currently. I think it's just for a couple platforms. Oh, for Xbox. Yeah, I think it was Xbox and Mac, if I recall correctly, that the crossplay and cross save isn't available for at the moment. Um, and here's a groovy hat so you can look like a real angler. Oh, thanks, Goofy. What do you think of the hat? Pretty spiffy, huh? Um, it's. It's nice. <laughs> ah, shucks. Glad you like it. Alrighty, let me show you how to use your new fishing rod. Alright, alright. So I know if someone buys something from the Scrooge Shop, will it be gone from our Scrooge Shop? Um, I haven't tested this yet, but I feel like if anyone buys something from a Scrooge Shop, it'll be gone. That would be my assumption just for like balancing purposes but again i haven't tested it you thought the collection menu would just update when you got the dlc and people who didn't would have the standard edition collection menu no i don't think there was a world in which they would do that because at the end of the day they're gonna be trying to sell their product and seeing that there are other things that you could have is a pretty good way to encourage people to consider buying your product. So I am not surprised that it's set up the way that it is. Deal of the day still bugged. It shouldn't be. In the patch notes, it said that was one of the quests that was getting fixed. But I didn't have any issues with that one, so I'm not sure. You think something's going on, you can't buy Moonstones. It says the store is unavailable. Interesting. When trying to buy the DLC, just wondering. The DLC should be on your platform shop. So if you play on Xbox, if you go to like the Xbox store, 
and search for Dreamlight Valley. It should have a Rift in Time DLC for you to buy. Expand and customize your house. Restore your energy. Oh my goodness. Who remembers this old, um, the old look of the skins or the, the skins, the chests from ages and ages ago? You saw another video and if someone buys it from Scrooge, it is gone. Okay, yeah, that's how I imagined it would work. Not surprised, not surprised. Okay, the game is now synced to your time. The time will change from day to night as time passes. Okay, okay. I am going to just yeet it back a couple hours so we can play in the daytime. I think that's fine. We're just in the shade. What is a DLC? It's downloadable content, so it's additional content that's an add-on to the game. So like Dreamlight Valley is the main game and A Rift in Time is additional content that you can purchase for the game. Well, hello. Bravo. Well done, Tink. <laughs> Not only have you driven back the darkness that was hanging over the village, but you found all the tools that were left by our previous ruler. With their enchantments, you are well armed to face what lies ahead. Actually, I think I have a couple pouches I still need to open. The pickaxe can only be wielded by one who is worthy, which you most certainly are. In your hands, it will split rocks with just a swing. The watering can never needs to be refilled. It will speed up the growing process for crops and keep all that blooms here healthy. The fishing rod needs no bait and never gets snagged. With it, you can fish what lies at the bottom of the deepest sea and the shallowest pond. And for the shovel? What a magical well, place. it's just a shovel, but a very good one. You'll need it for gardening and finding objects hidden in the ground in the valley. And now that you found all the royal tools, the wishing well is sensing your newfound powers. You're ready to take on the well's duties and collect the dream light needed to remove the night thorns from the castle door. Let's start with how it all works. Gaze into the well to see what the valley Listen needs. Closely. Completing even the simplest tasks will bring great change and help end the forgetting. <laughs> as long as they're done in spirit of love, care, and friendship. Then, once you've gathered enough dream light to remove those pesky night thorns from the castle, come and find oh, me. Magnificent. Okay, okay. Does the star path not unlock till you get Vanellope if you restart or start a new game now? No, the star path should be available right away. Wait. No, wait, what? When does the star path unlock? It shouldn't be tied to Vanellope. I wonder if it's tied to like another, like a quest. Maybe we have to finish like, I don't know. I feel like it was there originally, like right away before. Ah, yes. I love Zero Dreamlight. Complete dreamlight duties. Okay, okay. We can do that. What else do we need to do? Show Goofy our big catch. Okay, let's do this. We're gonna work on dreamlight duties pretty much as we're just out and about. Uh, should we also talk to Scrooge? Nah. <laughs> I mean, we will, but let's finish this up with Goofy first. You hope they add multiplayer events? That would be nice. I mean, they have said they were going to keep expanding the multiplayer feature. Oh, after you unlock the dream castle. That makes sense. What do you know? You're a natural, Tink. Uh, that was peaceful. Yep, there's nothing as nice as fishing in the meadow, but fishing's not just for relaxation, you know, it's useful too. You can sell your fish at my stall. Soon as we get it reopened, that is. Works for me. Follow Goofy to his stall. Not the run. <laughs> He's so funny. You're so lost on the Jack quest, you've searched every inch of the Forgotten Lands. It should be a tall, skinny tree with a pumpkin carved on it that you'll find. Can I push you out of the way? Thank you. And get this. Gracias. Hmm. What made me want to start a new save? Um, I wanted to see the game from the beginning now that it's fully released because this is the way that it was like intended to be played. I also know that they added um, a few things in that weren't there before. Like we saw one voiceover that was new. Um, there might be a couple new cutscenes. 
And also it just gives us something to do um, on streams where newer players can come in and not feel like they're being spoiled and they can hang out and vibe with early game stuff. Amusing rivalry lately. Scrooge can't for the life of him figure out why Goofy's stall is more profitable. Goofy started trying to help and that's going about as funnily as Goofy's help always does. Okay, Goofy. How's it going? I guess it's a little more run down than I thought, but that's okay. Uncle Scrooge's construction company can fix it right up. You can use the sign to call him. Alright, well, maybe we should free him first. That might be good. When you got the costume from the chest, it didn't register that you did, so now you're wearing the costume, but it's still telling you to find it. Wait, costume? Oh. Um, are you in the area with Eve where it wants you to be? Like, in the secret area? Like, where you found it? Okay, wait, that didn't make any sense. My recommendations. <laughs> um, one, take off the costume. Two, go into the area where you found the costume. Three, put the costume back on and see if that helps. If that doesn't help, I would recommend going to the official Dreamlight Valley Discord server into the help chat and talking to the folks there because they will probably be able to help you more. Green floral cardigan, that's a cute one. And red performance sneakers, okay. So I'm playing two different ones. Yeah, I have two, um, yeah, my old save is still alive and kicking. Not planning on getting rid of it anytime soon. Oh, ho, oh, you gave me quite a start. Don't you know never to sneak up on someone while he's contemplating his investments? Oh, I'm Tink, and I'm here to help. <laughs> you don't have to yell at me. You need that cardigan? I might... Mm, I don't know. I'm digging this jacket, but considering the fact we have, like, three clothing items, I'm sure we'll be wearing the cardigan at some point. <laughs> Are you now? Well, I appreciate that. But you're going to need a lot more coins to get this shop out of its sorry state. I'm afraid enthusiasm won't be enough. The whole village is in a sorry state. That may be, but you can a be hopeless about it. A true visionary sees opportunity around every corner. After the sky went dark, most of the villagers skedaddled. And fewer and fewer clients came in until they stopped altogether. But I can a remember where they all went. I know I stayed to take care of my shop and money, of course. Then... Hmm. Oh, yes. The Nightthorns blocked me in, and I can't even remember much after that. But, like light glittering off gold, I'm starting to remember how the village used to be and all of its investment opportunities. You love cardigans, though? You have so many IRL. I went through a big cardigan phase. Big fan. Um, hmm. I'd like to get in on this investment. Hmm. Hmm. I could use some help, that much is true. Perhaps we could come to an arrangement. Let's hear it. I've got a deal for you, Tink. If you help me make enough star coins to put my shop back in business, I'll make sure it's stocked with everything needed to put the valley back together. That's an interesting arrangement, but you know what? I'll take it. Goofy used to have a stall in the meadow to the south. I'm sure he'd appreciate any help you can give him. The lad doesn't exactly have a mind for money. With the royal pickaxe you found, you should be able to reach the meadow. Find Goofy and help him get back in business. Then you can help me with my grand reopening. Oh, and I see you have a map there. Don't forget to use it if you ever want to find your way around the village. Thank you kindly. Map. What was the autocorrect? Wait, what autocorrect? Did I autocorrect whatever I saw? Oh, wait, no, no, no. Gotcha, gotcha. I was like, me? Autocorrecting? <laughs> Sounds like me. Good day to you. But I just missed something. It's fine. It's fine. Um, It's about time Goofy fixed this place up. I'm glad he got you to help. Now let's get down to business. Goofy can have his stall at no extra cost since the valley needs it. But next time I won't be as generous. What you say? Hmm. Yes, let's fix the stall. Goofy stall is now open for business. If you see another property you're interested in, don't hesitate to let me know. Simply go to the sign next to it. Here we go! Hmm, we need money to upgrade the stall again because we need carrot seeds. How much money do we need? 
We have 338 star coins. Okay, okay. Um, Goofy, where you at, my man? Hmm. Oh, there you are. Okay, well, that works too. Uh, Goofy. Hi there, pal. Thanks for everything, Tink. Whoa. Finding my fishing rod, helping me fix the stall, you're one great pal. Um, anything to help my friends? Ah, shucks, I'm real proud to be your friend. In fact, here's a little something to show how much I appreciate you. It's a free sample of something, or some of the seeds I sell in the meadow. Okay, beautiful. Caitlin, thank you for becoming a member. Wait, did I just miss that notification in chat? Is that old? I don't know. Caitlin, <laughs> thank you for becoming a member. <laughs> um, I get new stuff at the stall all the time, so come on by anytime you like. Okay, but that's not really true, my man. You sell the same rotation of items. <laughs> In fact, you could even be an investor and help me make it even better. Then I could sell even more kinds of seeds. Unfading, thank you so much for hanging out. I hope you have a wonderful night. Ooh, max energy increased and we got this cool floor. I actually use that floor all the time, I think. Okay. Beautiful. Fishing expedition is complete. How much money do we need to upgrade the stall? Um, 500. Okay. Let's see. What did Goofy give us? Four, seven, nine. Okay. Let's do some gardening. I really want to just like glide, but my energy's not high enough, so. Okay. We run slowly towards our house. And let me water you, I guess. And I think I'm just going to make us a tiny little garden for now. New. No. Hello? What? Misty Breeze, hello. How are you? That was a really weird visual bug. I hope it stops. I don't think I... Well, no, that's a lie. I did plant some things earlier this morning on stream, and I don't remember it doing that. So I don't know what's up with that. That's a new bug. Yeah, it wasn't happening to me this morning. Let's move you back there. You've missed this game. It's been months since you played. It's very good. I love it. That happened to you earlier? Really? Hmm. <laughs> That's a bit of an annoying one. Wait, you also had that one earlier, Prib? I really don't think I had it when, um... Oh, well, now it's not happened. Maybe it's just sometimes. Oh, I don't like it, though. Okay. Ooh, our first ever dream light. Let's go. Okay, and let's water our plants. You're gonna skedaddle? No worries. Thanks for popping by, Blondie. I hope you have a wonderful day. While we're here, let's pop in and replenish our energy. Kitty, stop. <laughs> stop immediately. <laughs> um. Also, what are we playing? Maybe I should add that as a thing for stream elements. We're playing Dreamlight Valley. I don't know if you've heard of it. It's a fabulous game. Um, Animal Crossing meets The Sims meets Stardew Valley, but with Disney characters. Um, what are we doing? Also, I guess I should just toggle through these so that gets rid of that. Uh, I'm not going to bother about that. That's going to keep getting updated, so it can just keep a red dot for now. Two more Dreamlight duties, and we need 2,000 Dreamlight. We also need to talk to Scrooge again about his shop. We need a what are we playing command. Well, here's the thing. Um, I do have a command. Oh, I didn't update it before the evening stream where I can't remember what I called it. It's in the description box where it will tell us like what our agenda is for stream today. But also, sometimes, depending on what people say in their 
in their chat, sometimes it'll auto trigger it even without them typing the command. Well done, Tink. With Goofy back in business, you can make oh. some money. Then, when you're ready to invest in my grand reopening, come find my sign next to Scrooge's General Store. Thank oh, that's it. Me. Yeah, I didn't update it after the morning stream. Uh, you finally got Jack? Amazing! Congratulations! Kitty, you only ever catch the VODs. Maybe like a year ago, that was true, but not anymore, ma'am. Okay, let's gather some things. You know what we really do need to start gathering? I think stone and um something. <laughs> stone and something. Because ideally, we should craft a chest. Gotta start the hoarding as soon as possible, okay? Let me see what I actually need to make a chest. Um, softwood. Okay, let's run around and gather some softwood. Uh, how much space do we have? We have some. Okay, we'll do some things. We'll do some gathering. You were surprised with Jack because you weren't expecting it, but you can't wait to sing What's This all the time with him. Uh, Jack's model looks really good. I'm excited to get into his quest line. We brought him to the valley and placed his house, but I didn't do anything else with him. Started a new save on Apple Arcade today since the Mac update isn't ready yet. Are you enjoying it? I am so curious, actually, about whether... Hmm... I don't know. I might have some tech questions for you, Prib, after stream. Just about, like, the way the DLC works. Because I bought it through the game. Um, it was like, hey, buy this. But obviously it was through Steam. But afterwards, it still said I could buy it on Steam. So now I don't know if it's going to be available on this account or not. Um, the meadow is a fair and peaceful place, full of soft grass and pleasant breezes. Good for a picnic or a walk. I should really clean up my valley. I know. I'm a little bit of a disgrace. I'm sorry. What are you? I got it on Steam. The other thing is a visual bug, most likely. Okay, okay, okay. Starting over is painful. Oh my goodness. It's a lot of work, but I think it'll hopefully also be fun, right? Equally painful and fun. You did the same thing, literally designing the avatar on Arcade right now. Amazing! Okay. What else do we need? Oh, right. I was looking for softwood. This is when I actually need to stay focused and on track a little bit. Because we only have two biomes. So we need to collect the wood so the wood can start respawning so we can make a chest and have what we need to do our quests. If I'm playing on the normal account, it will 99% sure still uh, be available. Okay. Yeah, it is the account. I figured it would carry over, but now, I don't know. My, I don't know. We'll, we'll figure it out. You're a compulsive restarter on games. You can guarantee it's fun. I feel like it's kind of like how I always, like get rid of all of the decorating in my game and then start the decorating from scratch but it's just kind of one step further and i don't usually regret that in the long run so i don't think i'll regret playing this again okay is that 25 that's <laughs> i was like i have 25 softwood no ma'am i have 14 Okay, let's check out the plaza. We also need to make some money. For Scrooge. Make some Dreamlight. But I feel like Dreamlight comes pretty easily at the start of the game, because there's a lot of things that just, like, auto-trigger the achievements. Your imagination. Yours also shows available for purchase still. Okay, okay. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, maybe it's just, I don't know. A little bit of a glitch or something. 
I just mean like also in my game, it says I can still purchase it. Does that make sense? Oh, we'll talk later. Um, the plaza is the heart of Dreamlight Valley. It's where all of the Valley citizens come together to help each other when needed and to celebrate whenever we have an excuse. Did I see that they updated Eric's statue? Yes. I was literally just about to try to pull it out and show everybody, but I don't have it on this account. Oh, no, it's happened. OK, wait, no, it's fine. We can read these. Um, it looks very different. And I don't know how I feel about it. OK. We have a veggie pie recipe. Your show's available for purchase, but you haven't bought it yet. Oh. <laughs> Prib, no, I didn't mean I'll talk to you like later today. I know you have to sleep. I meant like later in the future. If I still have questions about it. By all means, please go to bed. Okay, let's see. Red skinny jeans. A look. We could probably make a very interesting outfit with our like 10 items. A black pleated skirt. Actually, wait, we could make something cute with the skirt potentially. Skirt, no pants. <laughs> OK, it's giving um 2011. That's the worst <laughs> vibe in existence. New save. You would feel so stressed. Your husband started playing today. That's fun. I don't feel stressed. Ooh, with the t-shirt, it's giving that even more. I don't know if I like the t-shirt with the color, though. Let's keep this top. Um, yeah, so far, I'm not feeling stressed. I feel like the stakes are pretty low. So I'm just trying to vibe and enjoy playing the game from the start again. You wore the skirt religiously when you started playing. <laughs> it's so hard at the beginning of the game, though, because you actually that reminds me. Um, I sorry, I need to write this in my phone quickly and set it as an alarm because I didn't go to Scrooge's shop in my main save. Um, all caps. Tonk, go to Scrooge. <laughs> uh, I'm not even fixing that spelling. <laughs> go to Scrooge's. Okay, <laughs> we're good. Um, I, when I first played, I used the avatar designer tool to make my character. So I gave her like a cute outfit that's like what I would wear if I went to Disney World. So I pretty much wore that at the beginning of the game. I don't think I got much use out of this skirt, but I can see how it would be a very popular item. <laughs> Tonk, go to Scrooge's. Yeah, I tried to type Tink, but I in fact did not type Tink and I just decided to leave it. <laughs> okay, not this. What is this? Ooh, this is a pretty good item to get right off the bat. I like that mirror. OK, do we have 25? We have exactly 25 softwood. We're going to need it for something. But do I care? No. Hoarding supersedes all, in my humble opinion. Let's grab this, grab this, and let's pop inside to replenish our energy. Fully going to call me Tonk going forward. No worries. <laughs> it's fine. We'll accept it. I've done that to myself. I didn't need to admit to the spelling mistake that I made on my phone that no one could see. So uh, it's fully my fault. OK. Let's craft a chest. Functional items. Oh my god, our menus are so tiny. How cute. A small white chest? No, we don't need to use our daisies. Let's just do a regular one. Does that mean you can call me Tonker now? I mean, I guess if you want to. <laughs> if you desire to do so. Also, oh my goodness, thank you for 96 likes on the stream, by the way. That's a little bit mind boggling. I'm just sitting goofing around in, <laughs> in a new save, but I appreciate it. Okay. Time to place our storage chest. 
and store some items. I'm going to store pretty much, uh, I'm going to sell those. Hmm. Uh, oh, we also have our chest inside our home. I didn't need to do this. Oh, well, um, we're going to put our crafting resources for now in our home storage, I think. And we'll put our forageables outside. The early valley was truly covered in night thorns. Wow, right? It's a mess. And if I were playing on my own time, that would be the first thing that I did. I'm sure some of you probably noticed and were annoyed when I played in um, Eternity Isle and I spent a lot of time cleaning things up because I don't know. I just like to clean my spaces in games. So I probably would just literally spend an hour removing every night thorn, but that's not very entertaining. So we're just going to go about our business and eventually we will. Um, we'll make sure everything gets cleaned. OK, we do need to buy some. I think we should buy some more seeds from Goofy and I should sell those apples. No, not apples, although we can sell some of the apples, too. We'll keep like 10, I think. That's a good number for the early game. Well, how am I supposed to get this stuff when everything's a mess? Not my own decisions coming back to bite me in the bud. Well, so close, but so far away. How's the new save going? It's going fabulously. Also, hello, Lycanthropa. You've been lurking and playing in your own valley. Didn't play for a really long time, so trying to catch up to everything now. Well, thank you so much for lurking. I appreciate it. And I hope you're enjoying getting back into the game. The bun? Wait, what about the bun? The music? Oh, that music. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. Let's go up here. You try to level up Remy's restaurant in Eternity Island, or but they don't let you. Is it because of bug or because you still didn't open Scrooge's shop? I don't know. I haven't tried to do anything with Remy's in Eternity Isle, so I don't have an answer for you, unfortunately. Um, Let's go this and this. I might also keep... Yeah, I think I'm going to keep some of these also in there. I don't know. We'll figure it out. Look at all this dream life. <laughs> oh, I said bite me in the bun. I don't think I did. I think I'm just congested. <laughs> so that's definitely what it sounded like, I think. Okay, I'm going to keep two of each of those. Move these over. Beautiful. We'll sell these. Maybe that should be a phrase, though. My character does have a pretty sick bun. OK, Goofy. I have some things to sell to you. Oh, wait, I can also upgrade. Oh, OK, listen, um, I know we need to unlock Scrooges, but we're going to upgrade Goofy's stall first and hope that I can get some carrot seeds. Not the sick bun, Tom. <laughs> I can't get carrot seeds yet. No. OK, how much more do we need? Oh, a thousand. Listen, we're too broke for that. So I guess we're just going to be planting. Um, this sells for two. Yikes. OK, take this. And you know what? In fact, take these. I don't want them. You are just slowly getting some star coins. Need to start unlocking all the characters they've added since you played last. Ooh, do you have a character that you're most looking forward to? Also, don't feel pressured to um, answer because I know you were lurking and playing. So it is fine to also stay lurking. <laughs> I understand. Um, let's do some lettuce. I'm in fact going to buy. Ooh, wait, we have so much money. No, no, no. I'm not going to buy lettuce seeds. 
that's not what I'm doing. I'm investing my money in um doing this. Back on the raspberry eating, maybe. I mean, when we only have these two biomes unlocked, it's really not too bad to just run back to our home to refill our, mem our, our energy. Okay. Listen, I think so far I've been making amazing decisions. <laughs> I think so far we're slaying, in fact. Let me buy uh, 10 carrots. Uh, no, let me buy nine carrot seeds. No. I bought nine. Let me buy... We'll do a plot of like 20. So let me buy 11 more. When you were in the military, you would wear donut buns. It was a thing where people would stick their finger in your bun and yell bun. Oh my. Okay, and I think we're going to clear some space here and make a little garden here. I might actually even increase it in size from 20 to just fit this whole spot. And um, Bush, you are unfortunately getting evicted. I don't know why I said evicted. I think I'm just like The Sims 4 for rent is on my brain right now. Because the Sims like EA creator program content creators got access to it a couple days ago and I've been watching so much like for rent content. Okay. Let's see. Let's start here, I think. Your valley is by no means well decorated, but seeing a fresh valley makes you love yours and the little bit of decorating you've done. Yeah, the thing is, I feel like for a game that just gives you a basic starting thing. Uh, no, I don't want this one. Dreamlight Valley actually looks pretty cute once you've got it cleaned up, but even just like a little bit of decorating can go a very long way. Do I have anything that you're going to like on me? No. Um, this <laughs> squirrel is like really wanting me to feed it. Okay, okay. The amount of times you kept selling raspberries and apples at the start. Yeah, you kind of have to. I really try to keep all of my... Wait, now it ran away. Keep all of my resources except for the things that we grow. Um, but I feel like you have to sell a bit at first. You have a ton of coins thanks to pumpkins. Pumpkins are the way to go. Ooh, wait, we have so much dream light. To collect. Ooh. We might even be able to go to the dream castle soon. Belle for sure trying to get her winter outfit in the star path. Her winter outfit looks so beautiful. Wait, I think this is going to end up being 20. Yeah. Okay. That works. My belly is growling a little bit. I'm so sorry if the mic is picking that up. I don't think it is. I'm fine, by the way. I have food literally right next to me, but... Just in case you're like, girl, <laughs> what sounds are your stomach me? <laughs> okay, yes, I know. I'm so sorry. Bad energy management. Let me go in my home for a second. You screamed when you saw that on the community page. Wait, what on my community page? Oh, oh, the bell outfit. Yes, yes, yes. I gotcha. It took me a minute. Yes, it is stunning. The aerial one also looks like it'll be pretty cute. Also, um, I finally put Elsa in her dream style uh, from the Frozen 1 movie. And let me just say, in the premium shop, it looks like it's going to be a hot mess. But when you actually put it on her, it looks really, really cute. Danielle, hello, hello. When you start a new save game, do you still have all your furniture in your old save? So if you are taking your save file, um, this is going to make more sense if I explain it visually in a second. So give me one sec and I will answer. Always have snacks on deck. I do. I just they usually just sit there. Um, OK, 
So there are a couple ways you can go about creating a new game. One of them is in here somewhere. Hmm. There's like, it's buried deep, deep within here somewhere. I can't remember where it is. Somewhere in this menu, there's an option to like restart your save. I might not be able to do it because this is like new. But um, if you do it this way from your specific save file, you will keep all of your star path items, all of your founders pack items, all of your premium shop items, the things that you don't get from Scrooge, essentially. If, uh, but you won't keep your Scrooge items. If you start a new game, um, like with a new cloud save account, or if you're playing on the Switch, if you start it on a new profile, you won't keep those items. You'll start fresh with zero things. And that's what we're doing. Starting fresh with zero things. Okay, let me dig this spot. You completely forgot about Nintendo Online. You need that in order to use multiplayer on Switch. Yeah. Yeah, which is pretty, I think, common for multiplayer games, but it is an expense still. Okay, let's pop into our home. Ooh, those carrots are ready. Beautiful, beautiful. You have six scramble pieces unlocked, four, 47 rank points, Prib. Go to sleep. <laughs> Go to sleep. <laughs> I love that for you, though. That's fabulous. Hi, Evelyn. How are you? Although, to be fair, who did I unlock? I unlocked Lumiere, but that was on stream. And then I unlocked... No, I don't want all of those transferred. Um, I unlocked... I'm thinking so intensely trying to remember who it was. Oh, I unlocked Eugene or Flynn Rider and I unlocked Cogsworth, I think. Okay, we can sell those carrots. And then those carrots will be done and ready for us soon. Okay, so we need a thousand monies, star coins, if you will, to repair Scrooge's store. But we're currently on our carrot grinding, so hopefully that'll help us get there soon-ish. Um, we need more dream light for the dream castle. See you later. And we need to generally go about and make sure that we have things. I'm also going to want another chest in the future. Because I feel that one is not enough. Okay, wait, we got more dream light. Let's see if that's enough for the dream castle. You're loving the update, but you're feeling a little overwhelmed because you have a bunch of valley villagers that you need to do quests for. And now you got even more with the new update. Totally understandable. I would say as much as possible, try not to be overwhelmed, which is like obviously not a helpful thing to say. But however, <laughs> I'm going to follow that up with saying there's no pressure to rush to get any of it done. And you can really do whatever you want whenever you want. So I would say try to just enjoy it because also eventually there probably will be a day when you have no quests and that can be very sad. You hate the new collection organization? Really? I'm actually so curious to hear people's critis like critiques of it. Like, what do you think they could have done better? Or like, how would you prefer for it to be? And if the answer is just the way that it used to be, that's also acceptable. <laughs> but if you were like, I like this certain new aspect and I dislike this other new aspect, I would love to hear your thoughts. How do you play the scramble coin game? You're taking a break from playing for the rest of the night to give your brain a break. Um, do you mean how, like, how do you access it or how, like, how does the game work? Also, yes, Prib, I do love the fact that you're actually, like, playing the game now. 
instead of just kind of being in the vicinity of the game, if that makes sense. Okay, back to our home to replenish our energy. Pick some flowers. What was I doing? Oh, mining. Something that we probably should do to get some resources. No, I got you. I got you. No, not plant seed. I just want to open this. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I definitely need another chest already. So many night thorns. I know. I know. We will probably spend a bit of time clearing them. I just know that's not like the most fun thing to do. So we're trying to do some other stuff first. Okay. Over here. Over here. Bananas. You wish they had left the left column the same and maybe split the right side up into different places. That could have made sense. I feel like the thing with it now that I notice is it just feels like a lot more clicks to get into and out of the place that you're looking for. Does that make sense? Like, I feel like in the last collection menu, it was maybe like two to three clicks to get to where you wanted to be. And now it feels like five to six clicks. You're excited about the star path? You usually don't do star paths, but you're definitely doing this one. I will say this one looks stunning. The only thing that I'm um, side eyeing harshly is the shoes. Because I'm still not convinced that we don't have that exact pair of shoes already. How do you access Scramble Coin? Gotcha, gotcha. So um, in order to access Scramble Coin, you have to have the Rift in Time expansion. And I think a quest pops up pretty much right when, like, very shortly after you actually get to Eternity Isle, a quest with Mickey will pop up. And if you talk to him, he's going to give you the rundown on Scramble Coin and teach you how to play. And then when you actually want to play it, you just go up to any of the villagers. Well, so far, it seems like any of the villagers will work and kind of where they have options to have a daily discussion or give them their favorite gift. There's also an option to play Scramble Coin with them. Topazes. OK. I said I was going to check the dream light, but I clearly have not been doing that. And we already have a thousand. So I think that's what we needed. No, did we need 2000? I lied, didn't I? I think it was 2000. Yeah, 2000. We're getting close, though. So we'll just keep doing what we're doing. We'll check on our carrots in a minute because they might be almost done. You moved Eve to your valley, big spaceship. I haven't moved it to my valley. I like her house a lot, though. OK, that's rude. You couldn't even finish breaking that rock. OK, let's go home, drop some things, go break the rock, gather the spices. All of this stuff is, in fact, kind of just us running around, but since we're so early in the game, like picking the flowers, picking the spices, it should be unlocking dream light for us. We do have the shoes. You have them in brown. Yeah. And they're not bad shoes. They're just, I don't think, star path reward quality shoes. You're finally getting into the game for the first time. Kitty, I love that for you. I'm so happy that you're able to do that. Yeah, yeah, we're going to need more space. OK. Also going to need to upgrade my storage eventually, like my inventory. Not in. Well, yeah, inventory. Leave it to me to be like, what, an hour and 15 minutes into a new save game and already stocked up. <laughs> oh my, I'm too much sometimes. Okay, our carrots are not ready. 
So let's just finish doing some mining. Maybe we can grab a couple more gems, get some more dreamlight that way. Totally not star path worthy. Yeah. And like, it's fine. Everything else in the star path, I do think makes up for it. And I actually love the motifs. I feel like I really like that they're all princess themed and they're in a similar style. So you could make some really cool things with those. So yeah, and I'm glad that it's mostly just kind of generally winter themed, but also still feels festive without being tied to any holiday in particular. I think they did a really good job with that. I'm actually really happy with it. Since we're still at Very Coffee Wheezy at home, we're going to go have a little nappy nap on the couch. Thanks for hanging out, Prib. I hope you have a wonderful sleep. That was pretty much it. I was trying to think of something else to say after that, but that was it. OK, we've done this. How are we looking? Harvest three spices. OK, I only need one more spice there. We can remove a couple more night thorns and get a bit of dream light. Beautiful. Uh, spices, gifts, fish. OK. I don't want to catch fish, though, because I have no place to put them. How much? How much soft wood do we have? Can I make another chest? Oh, no. Oh, no. You're starting a new save. No star path, no premium on Apple Arcade. Or like you're just not going to be getting the star pass or the premiums on your new save. Uh, I need eight more. OK, we're getting there. We're getting there. OK, OK, grab you and you and you. OK, catch three fish. You know what? I'm just going to have to do it. I don't want him, but I'm going to get him. Good night, Preb. Just what's in the game. Oh, you're just not going to buy it. Gotcha, gotcha. That makes sense. Yeah, on this save, I'm not going to buy any moonstones or anything. If I have moonstones available from Dream Snaps, if I can get it unlocked in time, I will do the star path. Well, I can still do the star path without doing the premium version for now. Um, but yeah, I'm not going to buy any moonstones on this save. Did I make potions at the time bending st uh, station? I did not. I don't think I made anything at the time bending station, except for the things that I needed to for quests. Ooh, different types of fish. Beautiful. Same, you won't buy moonstones. Yeah. I mean, I haven't really had to on my main save for a while, but I'm not against it. Oh, no. Oh, no run all the way home or to just eat something. Listen, the thing is, I feel like eating something is eating money, though. And why would I eat my money if I can just go to my house? You've always played the game, even streamed it a few times. Wait, what? What are we talking about? Oh. I missed something. Winter Wonderland themed. Yes, I missed so much. Y'all are chatty. Oh, my. It's uh, a sign you are going to play Paleo's update that just dropped, but it's having crashes and issues. So the servers are down again. So back to Dreamlight Valley you go. I am a sorry that I missed that message for so long. Um, B. Uh, sorry that Paleo's servers are still down. Yeah, I saw they were updating today. I saw the servers were going to be down for eight hours and I was like, A, yikes. B, um, at least I was going to be playing Dreamlight Valley all day anyway. Um, but also, I'm happy that you're going to be playing Dreamlight Valley because the star path is great. Jack Skellington's cool. And if you have the expansion pass, that's also great. So I hope you'll feel 
fulfilled still without Palea. You're going to stop buying Moonstones on Switch and use PS5 as your main save, even though you're not as far as Switch. But it's awful. Oh, with the decorating. Yeah, that's true. The only thing I would say, this is not to dissuade you from that decision whatsoever. Um, and you may have considered this already, but PlayStation doesn't have the ability to cross save or cross progress with other platforms. And it doesn't have the ability to do multiplayer with any platforms other than PlayStation. So if you think in the future there's a possibility of you getting another platform like an Xbox or a PC or um, yeah, like in playing on a different platform, it could be something to consider that the Switch might give you more flexibility in that respect. But in the short term, yeah, it is quite difficult on on Switch. No, not coins. I mean, we do need the money, but okay, okay. We'll grab some flowers. We'll grab some herbs. Oh, wait, I think. No, I already got that. We only need 100 more Dreamlight, which should be pretty easy for us to obtain. And then we can go to. No, I'm stuck. Go to the Dream Castle. Okay, ooh, actually, let me know. Wait, no, let me start a poll and chat a while. Also, wait, we have over 100 likes on this stream. Thank you so much. You all are so kind, and I appreciate you liking the stream. It really does help the channel so, so much. Um, which realm should we open first in the Dream Castle? Because uh, that's going to be right around the corner. So we can do... Um, Moana realm, we can do, my, not the voice crack, the rat, ratatouille. I'm pretty sure I spelled that right. <laughs> and we could do the Wally realm, <laughs> any of these. So uh, cast your votes. Let me know which one you would like. Why does it want me to vote for myself? I'm not voting for this. Minimize. Hopefully it'll minimize on its own. Um, Kayla, hello, hello. You're late, but playing along. That's awesome. I'm so happy that you're hanging out and playing along with us. You're so confused on what a main save is. So if people play more than one save file of the game, like if you're playing it multiple times, um, a lot of people will have a primary save where they are kind of further progressed or maybe that's the save where they decide to buy moonstones or participate in the star path. And then uh, people might have like a secondary save or a supplemental save where it's kind of more just for fun. It's more casual. They might not do the star path or buy moonstones, that kind of a thing. So like my main save is the one that I've been playing since the game first came out in early access. But this is going to be my second save where I'm not going to move as quickly. I'm not going to um, buy any moonstones, that kind of thing. OK, let's sell these. Woo, look at us. Rich. Swimming in star coins. 130 likes. No way. I didn't think it was that many. You thought it was Wednesday and you were about to ask where your rewards for Dream Snaps were. No, that's tomorrow. Also, we will be streaming tomorrow. I'll be streaming on my um, like my regular save. So that'll be a lot of fun. Um, probably do Dream Snaps. Maybe I might do that off stream. Um, definitely do a more expansion pass stuff. You know what? The way this really does want me to no close pull. Wait. Huh? I don't want to close this because I don't want it to. <sighs> I'm so sorry. OBS is weird. I'm learning a new streaming software and it's doing some weird things with the chat. I don't want to close the poll in OBS because I don't know if it'll close the poll on YouTube. Hmm. Who helps you get Kristoff and his stall? Um, Kristoff, you can unlock just by opening the Forest of Valor. And you get his stall through his level seven or eight quest. Some characters have a level seven quest, some have a level eight quest. I can't remember which one it is for Kristoff, but that's when you get it. And then you upgrade it in his level 10 quest.
Keep it in your back pocket. It's so weird that they don't support cross save as there are other games. Speedstorm. Exactly. I've been saying that a lot recently. Yeah. Speedstorm does um, support cross save and pro cross progression with PlayStation. So, um, wait, what am I trying to say? So, uh, <laughs> it's strange that Dreamlight Valley doesn't. That's what I was trying to say. Also, I might be a little bit more behind on chat than I typically am just because the poll is popping up and covering the bottom part of chat. So I apologize, but I will be reading the things just a little late. You're loving the face cam so you can see my facial expressions. I'm glad you're enjoying it. I can't decide whether it's like an overall pro or con. I probably won't have it on every stream, but maybe a little bit more often now. Um, but I don't know. I'm not very good at hiding my emotions or things in my facial expressions, so it might be entertaining. <laughs> the fairy bloss home. Yes, kitty. It's gorgeous, isn't it? The poll shows up blank for you. Oh, no. Have you tried refreshing the stream? See if that helps. The way my, <laughs> my answer is always just, have you tried refreshing the stream? It's giving, have you tried turning it off and turning it back on, which is also my go-to troubleshooting for anything and everything. Okay. We'll have to leave these in our inventory for now because we don't have space. Actually, how much soft wood do we have? Can we make another chest? You love that this playthrough is chill. Yeah, it's just good times. Oh, we are so close. We only need two more pieces of um, softwood. Oh, also we can repair Scrooge's shop. Let's go do that. Um, but let's go the long way. That really made me want to sing um, Five Seconds of Summer, A Long Way Home. <laughs> um, pick this up, ma'am. What a bop. What a bop. Okay. Pick this up also. I need to see if there are two more pieces of softwood lying around somewhere that I can use to make more storage room. Um, no, not here anyway. Okay. Scrooge. Good day to you. It's your lucky day. I got some money for you. Are you ready to invest? As soon as I open the shop, there will be all sorts of furniture and clothing to purchase. You can trust me or my name isn't Scrooge McDuck. Let's do it. Just finished dinner, back to Dreamlight. Amazing, amazing. Um, same it's blank for you. Why is it blank? Huh. That's so strange. Is the face cam new? It's sort of. I did a face cam once before for the showcase stream. So lovely though. Um, that's dramatic, but thank you. <laughs> I will accept. The poll shows white on white on your phone. You have to hold it at an angle to see the words? That's so strange. I didn't even do it in OBS. I did it in the regular one. So, so weird. Weird YouTube things. Bless me, bagpipes. I'm back in business. All I need now are some customers. Oh, and a good investment deserves a good return. These coins are for you. Use them to get anything you like. 400. <laughs> I feel like he used to give us back a thousand. Scrooge, you're being a little cheapity cheap cheap. Um, <laughs> come in, take a look around, Tink. Will do, will do. You love facial expressions? A blank face while playing games is weird. That's fair. Very fair. Ooh, the winter wings. I'm so excited to uh, check, like, actually get all of the Star Path rewards and look at them. How often will I stream the new save? I'm planning on streaming it once a week, probably. Ooh. I think is a marvelous opportunity. Right. So what I'm seeing is we need money. I feel like it's the same rotation of items the first day you open the shop for everybody, because I feel like these are the exact same items I got my first day when I was playing the other save. Hmm. There's a bug on mobile for polls. It's not me. Oh, okay. Thanks for letting me know, Michelle. Um, How long did it take for the DLC to download? Yours has been going for 15 minutes. I didn't see like a download bar when I got the DLC. 
Oh, I have to buy something from Scrooge. I have 500 star coins. You know what? I'm going to wait a minute or a couple minutes and buy something from Scrooge once we have a little bit more money, I think. Just in case we aren't able to buy a bunch of stuff. Hmm. Yeah, you got the white dress the first day. Wait, it wasn't that for you? Like, it wasn't those items for you, Kitty, the first day. Harvest basil. Beautiful. I need one more. Just one itty bitty piece of softwood. Oh, I see one. Better storage. Here I come. Okay, let's run back. Make a new storage chest. That way we can empty all of our inventory, hopefully. Um, and then head to a realm. Here's one also. Welcome back, Cozy Games. Welcome back, welcome back. Can I run this way? Yeah. I also want to get this fruit and stuff. There we go. You still never got the tea trolley. Really? You've been waiting since you started playing back in March. Oh my. Wait, what? We can make soil out of... Okay. <laughs> we can make soil out of rich soil, apparently. Let's get this small chest. Hmm. You play the game casually. Is the DLC worth it? I think if you enjoy the game, um, the DLC gives a lot of new content. Even if you feel like you still have a lot to do in the game, um, what are some features that I think would be nice for a casual gamer? Um, Scramble Coin is like a new mini game that can help you gain friendship with villagers. That's pretty fun. Um, there are also additional characters in the DLC, Rapunzel, Gaston, Eve, those three are confirmed um, and already available, but also the current speculation is that Jafar is going to be unlockable via the DLC and also another character who a lot of people have different opinions about who it's going to be. Um, but those things are really nice. Also, you get a new set of three biomes that you can decorate or move your villagers to if you'd like. Those things, I would say, would probably be the biggest things that might be tempting to me if I played casually. But if none of those things sound that interesting to you, that's fair, too. What is the new tool like? I love the new tool. Literally, I feel like the majority of my stream, I was literally just running around <laughs> using the new tool. Uh, so I think it's a lot of fun. It's pretty much like it's like a multi use tool. You can use it to um, to find like little treasures that are hidden around. You can find it or use it to like get rid of different obstacles. It's pretty cool. I really like it a lot. OK, we're going to do that like that. Do I plan on removing all trees and stuff in the aisle before decorating? I probably will do it by section, so I probably won't completely clear it right away. Um, but um, as I'm decorating each section, I'll probably get rid of the things. OK, we'll do that. These, these, uh, these and these. OK, we almost need another chest. OK, but this is empty, which is perfect. So we're going to go to the dream castle. You never had the arcade machine until they gifted it to us. Really? Um, I think I might need to find Merlin. Yeah. The new tool is fun. I agree. I agree. Dreamlight Valley on mobile runs better than Switch. I'm not surprised, listen. Uh, sad, but not surprised. Need anything from the market? You'd like to change your answer to Remy's Realm because you accidentally you clicked the wrong one. Okay, I will note that there's one more for Remy's. 
Which one do I want to unlock first? I really don't have a preference. I think they're all great. Splendid. And they all have their bonuses that come with them. The dream light is pooling in the depths of the well. Pooling. You now have enough dream light to repel the night thorns on the castle's door. However, before we go, I'm worried about Mickey. Have you seen him yet? Oh, really? <laughs> I haven't encountered him since you arrived. We must be sure he's all right. Please check on him at his house and then meet me at the castle. Okay. Let's save Mickey first. The pole has a few moments longer, I suppose. <laughs> Oh, can I tell you what the poll says? Sure, it says, which realm should we open first? The top option is Moana, the middle option is Ratatouille, and the bottom option is Wally. -E. You play on Switch Lite and it works pretty good. It did freeze a few times when you were in the new areas. Okay, yeah, I mean, I feel like the thing with Switch is that it's so variable. Some people say it's like unplayable on Switch, and I personally don't have that many issues, but you just don't really know um, which side of the coin you're going to get, I guess. Oh boy, am I glad to see you. Mickey Mouse? I'm a big fan. Well, I'm a big fan of yours. In fact, I saw you talking to Merlin and came in to get something for you, but I can't seem to remember what. It must be because of these night thorns and the forgetting. Um, Yeah. Gosh, these night thorns are the worst. I've tried everything and nothing works. <laughs> All right, let's remove these night thorns. I think we probably just have to complete this little quest here. Finally found a list of the new star path. Your thoughts? Love snowy raccoon, the winter gala clothes, excited for the ice rink. And yes, we have those shoes. Yeah, we have the shoes. I feel like we also have them in purple now that I think of it. I, I feel like we have them in like purple and maybe like a gray or something. Puts on a good front, but I can tell he's utterly heartbroken. Minnie was his other half. Now that she's disappeared, I don't know how long it will be before. Oh. Before? What do we have here? You find the shoes offensive. Ooh, black mini backpack. This backpack is cool, but I do like the jacket that we're wearing. I think it has a cool design on the back. So I don't know if we'll put on the jacket. Bell pepper puffs. Nice. Let's see. I like the Dreamlight logo on the back. We're not going to wear the backpack for now. Actually, I think I lied. <laughs> no backpack. The mini game is so addictive, right? It's really fun. I really like it. There it is. And look, there's Eve. We officially have all of these characters available now, which is pretty exciting. Trisha, hello, hello. How are you? Wait. I think I watch your channel. <laughs> Give me a second. I'm being obnoxious. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> Brief respite. Intermission. While I look at things. I'm still here. I mean, you can see me. Oh, hey. Yeah. Hello. How are you? Trisha's Lovely Games has a channel. <laughs> Go check them out. You're loving the update. It's so good. So enjoyable. Thoroughly enjoy. Okay. How many times can I say enjoy in a sentence? Your main save from Disney Dreamlight Valley is Steam. You use the Switch and the PC. Nice. And then you play on PS5 for casual gameplay. Hot dog, it's all coming back to me now. Dreamlight Valley used to be full of friends. Like my pal Remy, he was always trying out new re recipes. And I was always happy to taste them. Haha. <laughs> I also remember when Remy had to leave. He left me all his recipes to keep safe for him. Uh, where are they? I hid him all over the valley, hoping to protect him from the forgetting. It, uh, well, it seemed like the best idea at the time. Hot dog, you found the shovel. Now that you have it, there's one recipe we can get right now. Making meals will help your energy up or keep your energy up. 
while you save the valley. The memory you found should give us a clue as to where we can find the recipe. Noted, noted. You took a long break. Oh, that's nice though, sometimes. Let's see, let's see. Am I able to, okay, Mickey. I appreciate you, my man. However. <laughs> we're moving on. <laughs> we're gonna go to the dream castle. I think we can now. You can't wait to go back and watch the update so you can get some tips. Oh, nice. Well, hello? I'm not sure how many tips and stuff are going to be around, but we had a good time. Um, what should I do with the dream light I gathered? You have enough dream light to repel the night thorns from the castle's entrance. Bravo. Oh, but there's no time to waste. Proceed to the castle immediately and remove those night thorns. Well, All right, let's do it. Now. Focus your magic on the night thorns, Tink. Remove the night thorns. Bravo, bravo. Now we can finally enter the dream castle. Here we go. Kayla, thank you so much for becoming a channel member. I hope you enjoy your fun Tink emotes and other members things. Also, um, I'm trying to like find more things to do for members so if anybody has any ideas let me know usually discord is the best place to let me know um i think i also have a members community post where you can give me any suggestions if you want like members only videos or something like that yeah hit me up uh i remember now tink it's not what's inside the dream castle it's who when our ruler left and the forgetting took over the valley some of us stayed while others decided to return to their realms each door before you leads to a different realm, a dream of their own world. The castle is full of doorways to other realms? Um, I want to explore new worlds. Excellent. Well, you'll find no shortage of wonders beyond these doors as you seek out the missing villagers. Though I'm afraid they won't remember Dreamlight Valley, so it's up to you to find a way to bring them home. I see you have just enough Dreamlight left to unlock the first door. You must choose the first realm you want to step into. I want to visit. Oh, wait, what was the answer? Ratatouille. Wow, that's so close, though, I think, probably. I can't see how the other ones are doing. We're going to go to a restaurant with a great little chef. And I can finally end this poll now. End poll. Hooray. And the chef you'll find works true magic with food. Chefs and wizards have a lot in common, you know. Once you step through that door, you'll arrive in another realm. Help those inside as best you can. Tell them about Dreamlight Valley and ask for their help. Oh, I think I can also probably remove this pinned message because we haven't really had any issues with the stream. So I'm just going to remove that. Beautiful. Your happy Wally will no longer be lonely. Yes, absolutely. We'll need all our friends here to prepare for what's ahead. Ooh. You forgot I was starting a new save? I am! It's been a lot of fun. Okay, let me also just run around the dream castle for a second. It's stunning as always. We, I can't believe we're already up to this level here. And soon enough, we'll be all the way up here. Do we think, actually, no. I was going to say, do we think we'll be done with this by the end of next year? But... Maybe. So far, we have two realms confirmed for the first half of the year. It's possible. This brings back so many memories. I know. Such a long time ago. Why did I want to do a new save? Just to kind of experience everything from the beginning, especially now that the game is fully released. Um, this is kind of the intended experience that I guess Gameloft had for players when they were first starting. Um, a couple of new things were added and it'll be fun for players who are just picking up the game now that it's fully released. No. You love anything Paris, so it's a no brainer that you always start with Ratatouille. Nice. Hello, hello. You've been playing the update all day. Just stopping in to say hi. Hello. How are you enjoying the update? Also, let me drink some of my water. Ignore my giant Taylor Swift cup.
Feels like yesterday that the game first went into early access. Yeah, it kind of does. But it also feels like a very, very long time ago. Black Slacks. Okay. Remy. Hello. Oh, uh, hello, human I don't know. Uh... I'm Remy, and you look like you're listening to me. Wait, you understand me? Of course, I can understand everyone here. I'm Tink. <laughs> I love that we say that like it makes sense. Um, hmm. But I've never spoken to a rat before. <laughs> hey, we're just like humans. Well, not all of us and not all humans. Let's just say I'm kind of a unique rat. You're curious what Gameloft's next early access is going to be? No idea. No idea. I mean, they just released this game and Speedstorm, so I feel like it might be a little while. Sorry to cut this chit chat short, but I gotta get moving. The dining room's filling up and most of my staff's out sick. Plus, there's a food critic visiting tonight and I've gotta make a good impression. If he gives our food a bad review, I'll be a it'll be a disaster. Hmm, critics are the worst. Um, he's just doing his job. I mean, can I help? Can you help? Of course. Have you ever worked in a kitchen before? Um, does my local subway count? I'm an okay chef. This makes you wonder which realm you unlocked first. You think it was Remy's? I think I did. Well, no, I know I did Moana's first. I did, I did. You remember when it first came out, you were happy to play and was also going to see Frozen the Musical. Ooh. Um, well, luckily, I don't need to do, to do anything too fancy yet. Mm. Right now, I need you to wash dishes. Uh, sure, I'll wash them. Mm -hmm. You love the quotations around human I don't know, yes. Slightly off topic, does anyone know what the deeply musical fish is in the Star Path duties? I think it's the bass. Because it's a play off of a bass uh, like vocal type, but I haven't confirmed, but that would be my guess. Thank you, and please hurry. I need them quickly. Okay, let's wash these dishes with our watering can. It's incredibly hygienic. Don't worry. There's so much. Reminds you of when you first started playing and couldn't put the game down. I sped through this game like nobody's business. Remy, I cleaned your dishes. Bonjour. Clean dishes. Fantastic. Thank you. Hey, as long as you're still here, how do you feel about cooking? Uh, cooking is an art. It is. I watch a lot of Master Chef. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. The way the flavors sing when they go together, it's like huh. music. And when you craft a whole meal, it's like composing a symphony. Mm. But just like art, it takes practice. Let's get started. <laughs> You only remember when it came out because it came out on your birthday and you got it as a gift for yourself. That's awesome. Okay, we're preparing a couple of dishes. One with fish, one with fruit. <laughs> You'll find the ingredients we need around the kitchen. Okay. Well as a team. Find a fish and prepare a meal using it. Okay. What if I grab some fish and I don't know as you can I don't need to get fancy I could just cook the fish you know what it's fine don't pay attention to me. <laughs> oh I'm just doing too much all the time you happy you're happy you bought the second ultimate founders pack for the PlayStation from Black Friday oh nice that's awesome yeah they did have some pretty sweet um sales going on Grilled fish entree. Oh, you're having Animal Crossing. Wait, what What did it say? I loved the Animal Crossing like fishing puns. Um, What was the one? I caught a dace. I hope it doesn't take up too much space. <laughs> I loved it. Or wait, that was the one I always remember. Hey, hmm. You. I'll have to see if I can remember any other ones. I thought they were perfect. Now, that is a perfect presentation. You really understand complimentary flavors. For the record, I haven't played Animal Crossing in probably like two years, but uh, 
yeah, the fishing was absolutely chef's kiss. Um, let's see. Thanks, oh. Remy. <laughs> let's see if you can do it again. This time with fruit. Okay. Hmm. Let's make... Let's grab an apple. I mean, we could just make a fruit salad, but I think we could also make like a pie. With like butter and wheat potentially. Beautiful, an apple pie. I'm impressed. You've definitely got talent, Ting. Mm. Clearly, you know your way around the kitchen. Evidence, you're two dishes. But we need to hurry. The food critic is getting impatient out there. Are you ready to make something a little more complicated? Um, I always look forward to new experiences. Love that attitude, and you're gonna need it. Next, I need you to prepare a three-course dinner. It'll be tonight's pre- Ooh. I don't know, the French. <laughs> and hey, you can even design it. First, choose an appetizer. Hearty salad or bell pepper puffs. Let's do the hearty salad because we already know the bell pepper puffs recipe. Okay, then. You'll need lettuce and two vegetables. Okay. Thanks. Break. Lettuce? Does tomato count as a vegetable in this game? I think it does. Right now, you're fishing for a favorite air or for an Arendellian favorite with a marvelous Madrigal. Nice. Caught a sea bass. No, wait, it's at least a C plus. Wait, that's the line? <laughs> what? I also love that we're cooking a salad in our pot. Uh, hearty salad. New recipe unlocked. Here we go, Remy. Hello. Look at this appetizer you've created. Look at this experience you've created. See, each flavor is unique, but the way you've combined them creates something new. And it's not always about innovation. Sometimes you evoke the past. Food can bring back memories. Yes, like my family recipes. Mm. Mm. Is that not how you cook a salad? Have I been doing this all wrong my entire life? Exactly. Now we want to make a dish that reminds people of something comforting. For our main course, we have pizza margarita or a vegetable casserole. Let's do the vegetable casserole, I think. We're doing a strong veggie theme here. Lettuce stuff. Lettuce soup a la red. Oh, wait. Actually... Kind of miss Wrath. <laughs> I haven't played Paleo in a hot minute. Listen, though, I feel a little bit bad because well, let me finish this first. Delicious choice. The base recipe for casserole is somewhere around here. Then use the spices to adjust the flavor for the vegetable casserole. OK, Au revoir. let's find this recipe. Um, I like Wrath, but unfortunately for me, Wrath and Tish are my two favorite people from Paleo. And I did indeed flirt with both of them. However, Wrath told me I was messy be <laughs> because um, they're siblings. And he's not wrong. However, why can't I learn you? It's fine. Two vegetables and cheese. But I think I kind of left the game partially in shame because, you know, I don't know. Making decisions is hard, even if it's between pixels. That's the line. You recently started playing Animal Crossing, so it's on your brain. Gotcha, gotcha. I also need to pick up a spice. Let's do oregano. Love a bit of oregano. Do you say oregano or oregano? I know it's like regional, but I'm definitely an oregano person. 
embrace the messy you're running around a tossy and spin on and making pins for everyone else okay here's another thing i have a pin from everybody and i've given a pin to everybody but i don't wear any of the pins because i would feel too bad if i took it off Um, let's give this to Remy. You've never heard someone say the latter? Really? I think Hello. I've mostly heard people say oregano when they're from the UK. But I think there might be a couple other places that also say it like that. That dish was perfect, but you're not done. The last course is dessert. Oregano? You don't even pronounce the O. Nice. Desserts are very important. They're the final taste your customer leaves with. If we don't offer fabulous desserts, that food critic is going to roast us. OK, do you want to bake a banana pie or an apple pie? Let's do a banana pie. We just made an apple pie. Wonderful choice. Now for this one, I'll let you work on your own. You'll need three ingredients. And remember, the key to any good pie is butter. Oregano, you're from Australia. Nice. Maybe it was Australia. Was it both? It might be both. I don't know. I, um... I don't know. I can't remember now. I spent several months living in Australia. Uh, one year. It was very fun. Beautiful, beautiful place. Would go back in a heartbeat. It's both. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Here we go. Banana pie. Okay, but my question is, why does the apple pie have a completely different artwork? to the banana pie. And they're the same thing. OK, Remy, I've brought you your dessert. Hey, it's you. The dinner rush has started. Yeah. Order up. Someone wants a ranch salad. I'll leave this order to you, but here's a quick hint. Our ranch salad is made from lettuce, tomatoes, corn, bell peppers and onions. Lettuce, tomato, corn, bell peppers, onions. OK. I got it. Thanks. Lettuce, tomato, corn, bell peppers, onion. How long have I played this game, though? Wait, what do you mean? Lettuce, tomato, corn, bell pepper, onion. Tomato, lettuce, tomato, bell pepper, corn, onion. OK, I got it. Oh, are you saying like, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Like, I should expect them to not make sense because a lot of things don't 100% make sense in this game, which is not a lie. How is this the heat? Oh, um, I went in your winter. It was like my summer, but like it was mostly your winter. So it was actually really nice. And where I was living at the time, our winters were were like a lot colder. So even though I was um, like living with my friend and her family for a while and they thought it was like cold and I was like, no, it's actually like really temperate and nice. I know it's like the dead of winter, but it's still nice. Um, OK. Let's put this here. Talking about the how the pies look different. Yeah, I, I got there in the end. Don't worry, I did. OK, the critic is ready for his main course. And of course, he ordered my specialty, the ratatouille. The poll isn't still up. I was trying to check my spelling. I think I did spell it right. Hmm. I'm in the middle of three other orders. Can you help? Prepare the perfect ratatouille. I've watched you cook. You can do this. It's vegetables and spices and memories. Go. OK. Um, Vegetables and spices and memories. I got it. We need basil. I'm going to see if I can remember this just off the top of my head. I don't know for sure if I can. It's a five star meal. So we need four vegetables and one veggie. I think it's the ones that I have right now. 
I believe it's onion, tomato. No, it might not have onion. But we'll see. I am a chef. I've reached my final form, creating ratatouille on the first try. Uh, it's nice in winter. Summer is another story. Yeah, I am sure summers are a little unbearable. An apple pie is a closed pie that's cooked. And a banana pie is a cream pie that's cold. There's no top crust. I just mean like... They could look more similar. I've also seen plenty of apple pies that don't have a top crust. Bonjour. The food critic gave five stars to the ratatouille. What a relief. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh. You know, Tink, you are a very talented chef. Any chance you want to come to work with me? Also, also, not me trying to justify things. Um, <laughs> they have a blueberry pie that looks the same as the artwork for the banana pie, even though blueberry pies typically in real life look more like apple pies. Um, actually, I have a restaurant for you in my village. Uh, we could cook together again. Hi, Tara. Hello, hello. Did we get the key art for this update because you don't have it? There is no key art for the free update for Dreamlight Valley, unfortunately. It switched back to like the main game art. I'd like that. We make a good team. Colette and Linguini can manage without me for a while. You know what? I'll do it. I'll go to your village and help you with your restaurant. Wait, does this job offer come with housing? I can't sleep in the kitchen. Wouldn't be hygienic. I'll definitely need a house before I can go. Oh, yeah. Remy. <sighs> Wanting his giant mansion. Hmm. I am a chef. <laughs> I stand by it. Gotta go. Need to sleep. No worries, Danielle. Thank you for coming by the stream. I hope you sleep well. Oh, the star path is now available. No, not it's still showing us the Pixar vest stuff. Well, it's available at least. That's fun. Okay. Um. Oh, I guess we can take another look through this quickly, though. I can't unlock the premium because I don't have moonstones but listen the star path is gorgeous we have these um styled motifs that all are themed after like princesses which is beautiful winter fawn makeup cozy winter bench we have these pants they're cool um <laughs> the snowy raccoon companion this wintry wallpaper which i'm really excited about giant silver ornaments the shoes that we already own, <laughs> Winterful Branch Arch. This Winter Gala Ice Antlers, very excited about this. Uh, gray Winter Gala Boots, Winterful Iron Lamp, Decorative Winter Vase, Wintry Birch Wallpaper, Luminous Snowflake Statue, Royal Ice Skate Rack with the skates that all have the aesthetics of like d different Disney princesses. Love it, love it, love it. It's your favorite star path. It's so good. This gray winter gala coat, gorgeous. You were proud when you got the ratatouille first try without looking it up at the start and everyone was struggling. Oh my goodness. Yeah, I mean, to be fair, that's a bit of a tricky one to start with. This gown. I cannot wait to wear this gown. I'm so excited. We have Belle's uh, Winter Wonder Dream Style, this luxury snowflake rug that actually looks like a very similar shape to the new uh, rug that we got in Rapunzel's Friendship Rewards. This snowflake tile flooring, these wings of winter, the splendid ice rink, and a winter skin for Ariel. Ariel winter skin. I feel like that's probably supposed to have a different name, but you know. Eh, is what it is. 49 days in the star path. It's raining. Okay, we need to clear some space for Remy's house. I think I'm going to pop him right over here. I also don't imagine I have enough money for this. Have I started playing in Eternity Isle already? I did. We did a stream earlier today where we were on my original save file. Ooh, don't mind if I do. 
and um, we started looking into the expansion pass, and it was a lot, a lot of fun. You have to completely redo your Frosted Heights now. Big, big mood. I was already kind of planning on it. I figured that would happen when we got this update, but yeah. Gonna have to get into it. Okay, let's move this over here, I think. And is this enough space? Technically, will I be able to get through there? Probably not. You have the skate rack. Is it gorgeous? Hmm. Good day, dear. I mean, maybe a wee chef, but he's got refined taste and grand expectations. If you want a house that's up to his standards, you'll have to pay handsomely for it. Two thousand. Okay. No, no, no. Did I buy the new house skin on my main save? I did, and I'm so excited about it. Okay. Um, what is this? Is this just finishing this quest? Oh, hello. You've returned, and none the worse for wear, I see. Uh, why do you sound so surprised? Well, there may have been a slim chance you wouldn't come back. Stuck in the realms with the others, ahem, forever. Uh, oh no, oh no. Me stuck? Not a chance. Now, don't go getting overconfident, Tink, but you have proven yourself quite adept, and, as I always say, nothing ventured, nothing gained. And now that you've returned safely, we know that it won't happen. Now, there's something else I wanted to talk to you about. You may have noticed the giant pillars scattered about the village. They're creepy. They're beautiful. They're strange. They are strange. Mm, yes, in indeed. You don't understand how the big orbs work? Oh, okay. So, give me a second to get through this, and then I'll talk about it. Um... It's time you understand what they are. We'll start with the one in the meadow. Follow me. Okay, Merlin. I don't have time for this right at this moment, but don't worry. I'm 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 following Merlin. Um so the big orbs, if you go up to them with the hourglass and use the hourglass tool on them, it'll create like this dome area around you. And essentially what that is is it makes me think kind of of when you go mining and there's an explosion of the gems that are all around you and you have a limited time to collect all of those gems when you interact with that um giant orb and it makes the dome around you it's a timer and you have a limited time to catch a, or like find a bunch of treasures that are within that small area so if you keep using your hourglass tool back to back to back there are a bunch, like as many little time treasures in that area as you can find. You just have to do it in the time. Hey there. Um, let's sell these. Mm -hmm. And let's buy 20 more. No. Wow. Okay, 19 more. No, I can only purchase nine. Oh, wait. <gasps> no, I didn't mean to buy an actual carrot. I am full of disappointment. Whoa. Let's sell this carrot. Okay, we're working on it. Jade Mist, hello, hello. I know, I never stream at this time. <laughs> How are you? Wait, were you streaming today? I, I There were so many people streaming today. I can't remember if I saw your thumbnail. How are you? Have you played the update? Are you enjoying it? Are you loving it? Taylor, I am happy I could be your entertainment all day. Which platform is my main save and which one is my second? Both of them are on PC, actually. I do play on Switch also. I just cross save between the two. Royalty, hello, hello. Doing great. Yeah, you were streaming in the morning. Oh, okay, gotcha. I tried to stay away from YouTube in the morning because <laughs> I started streaming around lunchtime, I think, for me. Um, and I was trying to avoid spoilers before, like, before then. But I'm glad... That you love the update. What's your favorite part so far? That's also, I guess, a question for everybody. What's everyone's favorite part so far? Okay. What else are we working on? Hmm. We need to find... We need to talk to Merlin. Buy something from Scrooge's shop. You know what? Let's just buy something from Scrooge. 
so much. You're loving all the new landscaping items. I didn't even look at those. Not me updating my to-do list live on stream. <laughs> um, which spot can I put it in that's going to make sense? Let's pop it here. Landscaping item. <laughs> I guess I'll look at those tomorrow. You didn't even look at the landscaping. Exactly right. There's just I thought I had such a long list. There's just so much to look at that it's hard to remember everything. OK, hmm. I kind of just want to get this dress. But I know this is probably never going to come back. Or we could just spend all our money and get both. We're going to love it. Oh, my goodness. I'm so excited. I was talking on stream, though. I am very interested to see how decorating on Eternity Isle works because all of the areas are so small. Does that make sense? Like they're just small sort of pockets that are all separated off by immovable structures. So I wonder how it's going to go trying to fit homes or builds in the different areas. We'll get this too. OK, Scrooge, I hope you give me some money. An excellent investment. Be sure to come back and look over my stock. Often I get new things in every day. Um, well, that's smart business. Of course it is. After all, I know how to keep my customers happy. I'm Scrooge McDuck. No, no money. OK, that's fine. <laughs> Good chat, Scrooge. Good chat. Were there new craftable items? There are. I would show you, but it won't let me go into collections for that, unfortunately. But there are so many new craftables. Actually, wait a second. Wait, wait, wait. Um, I'm still here. Just a brief intermission while I go to my favorite resource, the wiki. I feel like people probably think I'm like sponsored by the wiki. I'm not. I don't think the wiki <laughs> pays anybody to pro promote them. They also don't need to because they're just always on top of everything. But um, hey, people who run the wiki. If you do want to sponsor me, I love your website. I love your resource. OK, let me see. Refined materials. I want to see if I can pull it up on the wiki to like talk about since I can't open it in my game. I don't know if it'll be updated yet. I think they're probably still working on it. But um, just for. Hmm, hmm, what if I type in Rift in time? I wonder if it's hidden. Rift in time. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Mm. Floors, wallpapers, crafting. Ooh. Oh, no, no, <laughs> it's not updated. Oh, that's so sad. Anyway, <laughs> um, there are a lot of really, really cool new craftables. They have the new pathing. They do. They have new fences. They have new benches. They have. Um, what else do they have? They have like a sword in the stone item. Oh, in Frozen, you know, in Frozen <laughs> where Kristoff is like lounging, playing his lute, singing to Sven, uh, reindeer are better than people. I think he's like lounging on this like hay bale situation. You can make that. It's great. Um, also, the new raccoon in the cozy. Oh, the raccoons are really good. They are. Um, OK, we need to pay for Remy's house. Follow Merlin. Do these things. Scrooge has something else for us. If it's not giving us money, I don't want to do it right now. Let's follow Merlin to the pillar, I think. Let me actually track that just so he actually shows up there. I really Play like with that. Blondie. Hello, hello. How are you? Welcome back, Alyssa. <laughs> Thanks for hanging out on and off all day. If you buy the cozy edition on Switch, but normally play on Xbox, will the raccoons be on your Xbox as well after you cloud save? Yeah, they will. They will. Oh, <gasps> look what I found. Wait, give me a second. Merlin, you can wait. 
I didn't realize it was going to show up so soon. Okay. We got the golden doorknob. You stopped using... Huh. Interesting. Yeah, the Dreamlight Valley Wiki is run by... Um, there's like one primary person who runs it, but then they have a team that also works on it. And everything there is like really, really reliable um, in terms of the Dreamlight Valley information. It's great. Uh, yes, yes, there you are. Good. Uh, let's do this. Uh, friendship is everything uh -huh. first. Are the animations in the release now? Wait, which animations? The pillar is just one of many scattered around the village. For as long as I can remember, the pillars protected the valley and kept it safe from dark magic, but no longer. I'm afraid the pillars are broken. Um, what's wrong with them? Well, you see, they're no longer whole. A vital piece of each has gone missing, and it's those pieces you'll need to find. Each pillar once contained an orb of virtue. The orbs are filled with powerful magic, and each one stood for a virtue around which the old ruler built the valley. These virtues are some of the most powerful kinds of magic there are. Trust, friendship, power, just to name a few. Power is one of the virtues? Am I loving the update? I am so, so, so much. Yes, power can be virtuous if it's wielded wisely, which I'm afraid it rarely is. That's how we've ended up with such a magical mess on our hands. So what happened to the orbs? When our ruler disappeared, some were lost, some were forgotten, and others were stolen for their magic. I have to find the orbs to keep the village safe. Oh, animations when the screens go black. I feel like... I don't know. We haven't gone through a whole lot of like quests and things, but I feel like there will probably be just some fade to black still would be my guess. Um, As long as you keep what's best for the village in your heart, you'll stay on the right track. Now, this pillar held the orb of friendship, one of the most powerful orbs in the village. That orb is now tangled in a nightthorn fiercer than any you've encountered before. Since the orb got stuck, the well in the meadow fell prey to a curse and we can no longer use it. You must free the orb from the thorns by proving that you have the power of friendship. I'm an awesome friend. Yeah. <laughs> that you are, though a little modesty wouldn't hurt. Now, just remember that while it's very important for our friends to return to the valley, we mustn't forget about those who are already here trying to rebuild their lives. Small acts of kindness can go a long way. You know, like giving someone a gift just because you think they'll like it. Spending time together. What do you modern kids call it? Hanging out? So, talk to the villagers and get to know them. Most importantly, let them get to know you. Once you understand this, the orb of friendship will be yours. Return it to its rightful place and the curse of the well will be lifted. So I many friends! Okay. Though I, I prefer not to take it off. My question. Actually, let me catch up on chat for a second. And then my question. Um, you just saw it today for the first time. You don't know how you haven't looked at it before. Wait, what? Oh, the wiki. Yes, yes, it's great. All wikis are run by people, so they can be really good or really bad, depending on who admins the particular wiki. Exactly. And I will say the Dreamlight Valley wiki people are on top of it. Um, power sounds like a virtue of your former royal advisor. Listen. I think he's lying. <laughs> I don't think he was our advisor. Also, I'm glad you can finally play Gabby. Also, thank you, Kitty. Anyway, um, do y'all see what I see right now? Not y'all. My Southern is coming out. Um, does everyone see what I see right now? Exactly. Uh, this says new level 14 for friendship. Our max for the villagers right now is still 10 as far as I'm aware. Um... But why would they have this if they didn't intend for us to have more friendship levels? Also, we keep gaining friendship with people like we still get the animation saying we get more friendship even when they are at their cap. So I don't know what's up with that. I wonder when they're going to increase it if they are. Okay, Merlin, come back. 
Give the doorknob. <laughs> sussy, oh, sussy. <laughs> so we're probably getting an increase. That's what one would think. Also, not only the 14 in the star, like indicating a level 14, but also because currently the highest you can go with people is level 10. And once you reach level 10, only after you reach level 10 friendship with them already, you get access to their level 10 quest. But their level 10 quest also awards you friendship points. But why would that quest award you friendship points if you can't go past that level. Does that make sense? Something's, uh, something's not adding up here. How marvelous, a golden doorknob with an M engraved in it. Now, this may not look like much, Tink, but it's proof your efforts against the forgetting are bearing fruit. I found this lying around the village. Um, someone must be locked out of their home. Mm -hmm. Oh, no, no, not to worry, Tink. This golden doorknob belongs to a charming lass named Mirabel Madrigal. The old ruler wanted her to feel at home, so with my help, they enchanted her house to remind her of where she's from. The enchantment gave the building the power to reflect Mirabelle's kindness and energy, but even so, we never expected Minnie Casita to become quite so magical and so protective of its inhabitant. I'm still so... I think it's so funny that they called it Minnie Casita. That house is giant. What do you mean? When the forgetting struck Mirabelle, wait, no, when the forgetting struck, a comma, Mirabelle, like many of us, started to lose her memories. Then, one morning, her house wasn't there anymore. I quickly went to investigate, and what I discovered astonished me. To protect Mirabelle, her home disappeared into a small universe of its own. Barb's Cozy Corner! Thank you so much for joining! Um, I'm gonna give it a second. And then re <laughs> and then repeat because sometimes uh it takes a minute before the notification pops up for people to actually pop in um to protect mirabelle yes yes it disappeared into a uh, mini universe singing family madrigal right now such a good song maxi casita indeed indeed the inside is mini yes barb's cozy corner hello welcome in thank you so much for the raid how is Dreamlight Valley treating me? Wonderfully. I'm starting over in this secondary save and having a fabulous time. But earlier today I was playing the update and I had also a fabulous time with that. How, well, is that what you were playing today? How are you enjoying it? If so. Also, Kitty, uh, would you mind grabbing Barb's link for me, please? And posting it in chat? Everyone, please go check out Barb's channel. Um, I've definitely seen some of your things. I sometimes struggle to keep like people straight in the Dreamlight Valley community, but I know your name when I see it. So I know I've seen your things and I have generally positive feelings around them. <laughs> so thank you so much for bringing your community by. I appreciate it. But first, you'll need to prove to it that the valley is safe once again. Oh, yes, to the house. I'm ready to do whatever it takes. <laughs> You're going to head off, but thanks so much for the stream. No worries, Tiny Panda. Thank you for coming by. You played seven hours of update. Oh, my. And all good. Today was your first day back after a month away. Well, welcome back. I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, I really didn't want to end stream earlier today when I was playing the update. It's like so good. Now, houses believe in deeds, not words, and houses often come to resemble their inhabitants. Oh, no. To prove the valley safe for Mirabelle, you'll have to embody the Madrigal's values. What are the Madrigal's values? Well, I'm told they always believe in bringing their village together to help the community. And I remember Mirabelle checking in on everyone here to ensure their needs were fulfilled. Oh, and she also became quite fond of photographs, if that helps. Hmm. I could take some pictures of villagers. As for making sure everyone's needs are fulfilled, I could check what the villagers need and give them some gifts. Fine ideas indeed, Tink. Why, simply engaging some of the villagers in conversation might be enough. After all, everyone appreciates being thought of. The more acts of kindness you perform, the more magic the golden doorknob will gain. Once it has enough, a mini casita will return. I will give this a trial run. I'll talk to you when I'm done. Yes, okay. Well, run along now. Let's gather some things, not talk to Scrooge. <laughs> we can avoid Scrooge for the time being. Hmm. What do I need? Oh, 
We should pick up more softwood because yet again, I feel like my chests are full. And we're going to need to make another one. It's actually, you know what? It's a hard life being <laughs> being someone who hoards resources when you're in early phases of a game and you can't make enough chests. It's tough indeed, but I guess it's also tough when you don't have the resources that you need. It's just hard all around. Oh, I forgot for this we have to reach friendship level five with three villagers. That's kind of a lot of friendship. Speaking of Scrooge, you haven't checked Scrooge's store yet today. I know I haven't on my main save. I need to after stream. I do, I do. See if there's anything new. Did anybody get any new furniture or clothing items from Scrooge today? If so, what was it? I need to cross my fingers and hope he's nice to me. It's a hard knock life. It is. It really, really is. Also, anytime I think of Annie, I, I don't know. It's a great musical. It's like a classic, but also one of my sisters was in a production of Annie when she was in middle school, I think. And she went through this whole phase where for months and months and months, she was obsessed with it. She would listen to it all the time. She would sing it all the time. And there's only so much Annie one girl can take. So I feel like a little bit my love for it has been diminished, unfortunately. You didn't get any new items from Scrooge. Oh, no. You're excited for me to experience multiplayer. It was so fun. Oh, my goodness. I'm excited to uh, be able to visit people's valleys, hopefully on stream, although I know timing with that can probably be a little bit tricky, but I'll probably also try to do some videos of doing valley tours of community member streams. So actually, if someone wants to type exclamation mark discord in the chat, that'll give a link to our community discord server. And I have channels in there now for community members to link up with each other if they want to play multiplayer together. But also there's a channel in there for um, anyone who wants me to come by and tour their valley. You can give the info of like what areas you want me to check out and that'll let me know to like coordinate with you. Thank you. Thank you, Kitty. How do you get Eternity Isle? Um, you have to buy the expansion pass. It should be in your platform shop, except for Mac. It's been delayed on Mac, I believe, right? Or was that just the update? Anyway, it'll be in your platform shop. And once you purchase it, if you've completed the required quests, when you log in, it'll give you a cutscene that'll kind of um, introduce you to what you need to do to get to Eternity Isle. If you haven't completed the quests that you need, then when you check your mailbox and get the Jester Monkey and the Royal Outfit, that piece of mail will tell you what quests you need to do. Gonna lurk while putting the little one to bed? No worries. Ooh, wait, is this her first memory piece? That's not like a full memory. And it's Cinderella. That's pretty cool. Oh, also, did everyone see that Eternity Isle has its own collection of memories? Um, what which ones were they? Uh, Princess and the Frog, Lilo and Stitch, Aladdin. Um, I think there were one or two more collections. Does anyone remember what they are? Oh, wait, <laughs> this is my own fault. I can use this. Did I start a new game? I did. I still have my other save, though. 
but right now we're working on a brand new one. You know the feeling? You thought I was going to mention Austin Powers instead of Annie? No, no, no. You got the station for multiplayer? Exciting! Okay, let's grab this. Did I use that memory? Or not memory, recipe? Fruit salad recipe, use. So many night thorns. I know, I know, I know. You love that about the memory collections? What you love what about the memory collections? Your save is currently bugged? I'm so sorry. You just bought it on Switch when you normally play on PlayStation, starting all over as well. Nice. I feel like I've been enjoying it so far. It's kind of fun. You're new. Why did I start the game over? I started a second save because I wanted to experience the game in its full form now that it's fully released and also make a stream that was going to be more accessible for other people who are also just starting the game if they just got it in full release. So we can all hang out with minimal spoilers. Thought that would be fun. Okay, put that there. Wait. Hmm. What's up with the stone? Oh, that there's new ones for the DLC. Yeah, I love the memories. I love the memories in game. So I'm very excited that there are new ones. Okay, time to... Get these carrots. Why is it expensive? Wait, the DLC? Um, it's definitely not nothing. Like, $30 is a fair amount of money. Um, but it does have a lot of content. It has an entirely new island, at least five new characters. It has a new royal tool that I think is really fun. It has totally new craftable items, new furniture, new memories. Um, new forageables, new mineables, new fish. Like, it's got a lot of stuff in it. So it is expensive. And I know not everyone is going to be able to get it. But if you can and choose to, I do think it's worth the money, at least in my opinion. No worries, Kayla. You might get Dreamlight Valley for your laptop. You already have it on Switch. Nice. I would say definitely just make sure you check the specs to make sure it's going to run well. You're buying DLC tomorrow, but it looks worth the price. Yeah, I usually try not to say that something is like worth it or not worth it because to... Like, a certain extent, that's very based on the person who's getting the thing, right? But I feel like the amount of content that you're getting in the DLC is a lot of content that um, adds a lot of new stuff to the game. And with the amount of hours that I think I'm going to spend playing the new content... It seems like you're getting a pretty good deal. Eric's hello, hello. The DLC to you is like buying a sequel. It kind of is, yeah. I could see that. Also, I think DLCs are like, they're pretty, not even I think, like DLCs are pretty common in gaming. Um, I know a lot of people tend to compare it to The Sims 4. I don't think that's the best direct comparison. Um, but even games like, what do I think is a little bit better of a comparison? Oh, like Fay Farm, for instance, right? Fay Farm, um, released the game. It was $30 if you got just the base game. They're coming out with a DLC this month that's also, I think, $30. Um, and it's like Fay Farm, you get the map, you get everything that you can do, like a whole story. And then in the DLC... It's going to expand the map and give you even more story. So it's like 
pretty similar. It's not a revolutionary practice. Um, okay, let's buy some more carrot seeds. I'm just going to buy 16 this time, just enough for us to... Wait, how much money do we... Nothing. Okay, <laughs> we have zero money. Do you have to buy the DLC to finish Jack's quest? You should not have to, no. Jack was part of the free update, and nothing in the free update should be dependent upon the expansion. Did I start from scratch? In this save, yes. I still have my other save, though. Um, buy carrot seeds. When did I need 16? I think I had four. Yeah. The amount of new content is almost overwhelming, but in a good way. Yeah, it almost feels like I'm not saying you are getting the same amount of content as the free game, but I am saying it kind of feels almost like the beginning of not the free game, but like the main game. Um, it almost feels like the beginning of the main game because you have this entire new island to explore um, and a lot of new quests just like trickling in. This is your first game you've actually put real money in. Your husband is usually a gamer, so he's been excited that you finally found a game you love. That's awesome. Yeah, this game kind of was the one that reignited my love for gaming. I hadn't really gamed much in the past couple of years, but my partner is also a big gamer. So this is like totally not my partner's style of games, but I think he appreciates now that I sort of understand gamer brain a little bit more. So much appreciated. You can't afford the DLC at the moment. It's so hard trying to not see any spoilers. You want it to be a surprise when you can finally get it. Oh yeah, I totally understand that. Which was also kind of why I wanted to pop in with a new save. Because I am the same way with spoilers. I try to avoid <laughs> seeing things if I know I'm going to want to like watch something, play something. Okay, put all this away. Feels like they gave us a whole second game. It kind of does. It kind of does. Okay, I can keep this stuff. Sabrina, hello, hello. Your boyfriend got you the new DLC today. That's amazing. You're not sure if you like the new island or not. Um, You're just more excited about the new outfit of Ariel and the quests for it. Oh, nice. Yeah, I feel like the new island is definitely... It's set up very differently than our main valley. Like the whole layout of it and everything. But it's kind of fun. If I play the second one on the same platform, how do you still keep your main save from the cloud? So you can actually log out of your cloud save. I'm not going to really be able to show it because it's on the main screen when you first enter the game. But when you first enter the game on the left where it says like credit settings continue, it says cloud save. And if you click on that cloud save, you can log out of your cloud save account. And it's saved to the cloud, so nothing happens to it. You just have to remember your email address and password. And if you do that, you can then start a new game and make a new cloud save account to link to that save. And then you can just switch between the two. Hmm. You love spoilers. I think it's so funny to see like some people absolutely adore spoilers and some people do everything they can to avoid them. And I personally don't really understand loving spoilers, but I think that's fun. If that's your vibe, that's a cool vibe. <laughs> you remembered another thing. You don't know if it's an actual bug, but when cooking, the vegetable category is now down between the sweets and ice instead of above the fruit category. Oh, interesting. Considering the founders feel like this after two years of early access, that's saying a lot. Wait, feel like what? You did that and your save got ruined on Xbox Game Pass? Really? It should not have. Definitely should not have. You're exposed to spoilers because you're a mod for me. That's true, but to be fair, the villagers are descending 
you don't have to come to update streams. I would understand. I'm pro staying spoiler free. <laughs> You're like that because you have anxiety, so the unknown makes you anxious. I could see that. Yes, and you play on Steam. You were signed into your Switch. Still waiting for the game. Oh, wait. I know sometimes when you're switching between platforms, if you don't pick the cloud save and you accidentally click like local save or something, issues can happen. I always try to be like super, super careful when I'm switching between accounts and between platforms. And I have not had any, any issues with having multiple saves, but... I'm really sorry that that happened to you. Oh, founders feel like it's first day after two years. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yes, yes. Okay, okay. Goofy. Oh, am I done with the quest for you? Oh, I think that's kind of just continuing the quest a little bit. No, I think it's done. Let's talk to uh, Mickey. Did, did I say Goofy before? Mickey, what's up? Oh, boy. Oh, <laughs> why are we so close? Hi, AD. Hello. Hello. Welcome in. I think we are probably getting ready to wrap up. It's actually turning dark in my game, even though I have the time set back. So I think that's my uh, my cue. But I'm happy to see you. Oh boy, we did it. We found the shovel and the recipe for for fruit salad. Oh, <laughs> all this trouble over fruit salad. Um, I'm excited to get cooking. Sure. You just learned like two weeks ago that regular saving doesn't cloud save. That's correct. Also, a cloud save, it's not a physical backup save. So if your cloud save gets corrupted, it's nice to have a physical backup to uh, revert to <laughs> if you can. What? How is it? Nine? Exactly right. It's late. I'm sure all of Remy's recipes taste great, even the easy ones. You said it. Remy knows how to add a little bit of magic to even the simplest dish. And I bet if you keep looking, you'll find some recipes that are a bit more exciting. I know Remy would trust you with his recipes, and I'm pretty sure you'll like making them. Hmm, if I find more of Remy's recipes, maybe I could... Um, keep my energy up. <laughs> Smart thinking. A good meal can really keep you going when you're running around fixing up the valley. Now, before you start collecting other recipes, we got to make this one first. First, we'll have to gather the ingredients. I'll go see what I've got in my garden. Meet me there when you want to make the fruit salad. It's been so long since I tasted one of Remy's recipes. I can't wait to try it. Oh, and here are some overalls for you to wear if you want to look the part for what comes next. Gardening. Fantastic. Thanks, Mickey. Oh, my energy. It's so low. Our energy bar is like zero right now. Sounds like the perfect time to save the game. Honestly, luckily on PC, I don't have too many issues. Um, hello. I don't have too many issues with like, um, crashes or things that affect my save. So I do feel happy about that. Are our carrots fine? Yeah, we just watered them. Let's replenish our energy. You've been here for like five minutes. Did I restart my game? I started a new save game, so I still have my other game. It's not going anywhere. <laughs> I think I would probably cry if I restarted it, um, like actual tears. So not doing that, but we are starting a secondary save that will also be streaming on the channel um, going from the beginning again. All right. I think, yes, this is where we're going to end the stream. Thank you all for hanging out. I'm so excited to play from the beginning all over again. Let me see if anybody's playing right now. It's late, so maybe, maybe not. But I will be back tomorrow streaming at my usual time, 2 p.m. Eastern time. And we're going to be playing my original save file. You know who's live? You know who's live? Mara. Mara is a wonderful, wonderful streamer. I just like lurk and vibe in her streams all the time. So if you have time, please come along to say hey to Mara. We're going to go raid 
and I'll probably lurk for a little bit while I wind down for the night. I hope to see you all back tomorrow. I hope you had a wonderful update day. Um, I think that's pretty much it. <laughs> uh, take care of yourselves. I will see you all very soon. And that's it. Goodbye, everybody.